Oh, fading light of summer's night. I'm older now than then. Those seconds passed since I began, since I first tasked myself with this master class, an introduction, introduction, the latest on my list of pregame elf game hot shit bullshit. This video was not for kids. This video was a modest gift on the altar of altered state before the table of tabletop RPGs, and these argots are not from an architecture lecture, it's in an adventure by DCC. In my church, search roles are a no-no, and texts and rules are tools, not dogma that clogs the game's creative flow. We got an abyssal back baptismal font where Monty Cook's gulping unholy water and the Pope has got Winter's daughter as the sacred book. If you follow, then you know, though my flow's so-so. I roll bones like a mofo, like a freak -a leak and my geek game's not weak. And if you watch week to week and you've seen me before, I'm sure you're like, what the hey? Rapping a poem? We've been like, when's he say, happy Chthonian? Welcome to Happy Chthonian. I'm MC Stoff, and this is episode four in our ongoing ultraviolet grasslands campaign. It's also part two of a little standalone dyad, the dungeon crawl through Glitch Spire, uh, a dungeon one pager of my own invention. I'll put links up and down below and up above high <laughs> where you can download it, and see videos of me talking about it. Uh, in this one, the party had already made it halfway, met the war queen who's trapped in time, who's ruling the place, made friends with her, but they ran afoul of a I mean, Scorpion King-style biomechanical Spider-Man, and they meet him again in, in this time around and kind of have a showdown. There's a lot of combat in this one with the Spider-Man with a giant biomechanical porcupine. All these biomechs are moving on the tower, of course, because there's a signal going out from there. Uh, uh, and then a giant Clydesdale-sized leech with the arms of a human being instead of legs. Also, a zombie swordfish is flying around. So lots of good stuff in this one. It's really action-packed. Uh, yeah, and all the while they're getting loot and planning for their next big capitalistic uh, caravan adventure. Uh, I think that's all we need by way of an introduction. Thank you for watching. I hope you find it edifying, especially if you're running your own or thinking about running your own UVG campaign. You can always leave comments, contact me. I'm happy to talk about this stuff. And there's a blog uh, that goes through the events of this thing, kind of summarizes it in written form and talks a little about what's been going on for me behind the scenes. I'll put links to that below. And please enjoy the show. The bone in obsidian marble spire is where you find yourselves. Three among your Chad is presumably off. Uh, he had gone up with Katusa Amethyst, the time lost warlord, to the kitchen and come back down. Maybe he's gone down to try and forage some food. He still hasn't eaten, uh, <laughs> nor drunk the body of boche that you gave him. So that's our excuse for where he is. The other two, maybe they're guarding me. I don't think. <laughs> you were so yeah. helpful to you. <laughs> you told you told uh, your friends the yeah, value of the. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> like how we had totally different approaches. Ooh, you look sickly. Here's a potion. You look beautiful. You don't need a potion. Right. I'll take this potion. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, you've gone. You've met Kachi Samfest. You've gone up, explored some floors, the uh, People's Meat Market, the library, the chain, you went past the Chain Gladiator tapestry, hung out in the analysis room, and stole the analysis ring. Did uh, we decide that tapestry was going to be our flag? Yeah. yeah. Um, Just need a big stick. That's a little better view of this. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah, I suppose it, it has a line of sight, too. Yeah, so. Yeah. Like a built in crow's nest. Oh, yeah. 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 Something other than the one room stuck in all these years. Yep. <laughs> the venom rats did not take to your courtship. No. And so you ascended the stairs from the salon. And next up, that is the salon. It's kind of like that. Came in through the hole in the floor. Yep. And then you can see. Up the steps, the smell of like stale vinegar uh, is redolent as you rise. And this area had been, uh, it, it 
it has fountains of cherubs that are like mantis headed mantis armed great cherubs. Uh, and there are dried puddles of red crust that appear to have been wine. Uh, it's all kind of dried up and gone old on you. There's a moldy puddle between the stairs you just took up and kind of at the foot of the stairs further up. Um, and then there's a door with stained glass and you can see light coming from outside. There's a big balcony. What do you do? Uh, now we're at one floor down. Well, you just went up from here, I'm saying. Now we're in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, I would like to check out a few. Yes. This uh, whole thing is at like an angle. It's kind of tilted down. Okay. Go out, you have a good view of the whole step lands as you kind of approached. Uh, it's facing the direction of your approach. Gotcha. Um, from here, you can look up and see there are two other kind of balconies on the tower. Uh, and you see looking down at you is, are the eyes of that spider person mm -hmm. that you How dealt with it? before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, be, you're kind of like just coming out the door here and you can see him looking down from there. So this that's like two, alive. three, four floors, right. times 10 feet, 40 feet up. Right, <laughs> and then he, as, as you make eye contact, he <laughs> disappears. <laughs> uh, there debris, and this broken furniture is all kind of like <sighs> gone up against the wall here. There were little tables, you know, and stools when this used to be a <laughs> restaurant or something, uh, but it's all busted. And there's a little uh, stands here for the hosts and hostesses. You can see like uh, corkscrews on them, like the drawers that are there. Are drawers that have come open because of the angle that their corkscrews in them and other wine-related things. What happened to the conquering queen? Did she disappear back into her? I'm trying to remember. We interact with her. Yeah, yeah. interact with her. She took a seat in the library to read a children's book. I go and I am just, I'm rummaging around in the, the, the old hostess stands just for fun. Nice. There are. And it's just I see wine screws and that's it. Right. Two bottles of wine, oh. one bottle of wine that's sold, it's gone to vinegar. Yeah. Someone rolled a six cider. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are two other things, Mercury and then Kai. What sort of things would you find in a winery close to stand? Um, there is a, a unlabeled flask. Um, I'm screwing the lid and taking a sniff. You think? It's the milk of something. You might hope for rat milk, but that would be too simple. It's probably lizard milk. They have to know. To the end of the palate, they all kind of smell the same. All of the, the small milks. The small milk. It is a small milk. No a small flask of, a, of the milk of a small creature. Alright. Uh, God, the absorbing it's okay. This place is something where lots and lots of people have met. I'm thinking of Sewerland wines. If you really hard quotation of that have like a fermenting worm, you know, kind of <laughs> like tequila. Yeah. If you broken bottles there, that fermenting worm is just <laughs> sifting around and the leftovers. Nice. An undead worm maybe? Yeah. Still alive. It makes living berries taste the way wine is kind of supposed to. <laughs> um, still, not t still alive, but still undead. Still animate. Yeah, yeah, so. Well, it's it's kind of interesting. I don't know. Do we want to. See, the worm's tiny enough that you can bundle it with multiple things in one slot. Oh, you could? Yeah. Well, I'll take that. 
<laughs> well, you first, could, uh, poke it into a bottle. <laughs> say, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me take that back. Can I ask this wherever he wants to join us? <laughs> Boy, look, buddy, are you bored? I mean, it's kind of sunny up here. You, uh, you want to come with us? Caster, I imagine, like yeah. going down your arm. No, no, Caster. <laughs> Right yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know you're hungry, but it's all right. Just, just chill for a second. The worm is uh, like a worm. Doesn't understand you. He doesn't understand me. Well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> all right, well. What does the worm do? <laughs> I'm going to, I'll keep him anyway. He, uh, we'll, we'll call him a fermenting worm. You know, I can put him, uh, just pop a dead thing into, into a nice juice. <laughs> it's like summer alive. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's not me. Alright, uh, I can bundle him into. Um, it's fine. You're definitely not supposed to drink the worm. I'll put, I'll put, I'll put <laughs> zombie fermented worm. That's how you got your gun. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a faux pot. <laughs> They didn't bid him for it. It seems to have fallen off a hard drive, so. But fortunately, it's split us from online. Okay, I, I took him. I'm looking around and I can't see anything else of interest from my purge of you. Any sort of Where am I being? Okay, I'm sorry. Down that way, right under your finger. Right the step of the one on the Yeah, What's the gray there? What's that area called? Just this the line? The citrus stuff. Citrus step. Yeah. So from here you can see kind of, you know, the orange earth of uh, like the equ equatorial areas, and then it it uh, there's a clear break and there's some green colored earth. You can kind of see the layer, the citrus colored layers of the soil of these plants. Cool. Um, well, 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 that's an interesting question. Roll a deep roll. If you succeed, you'll see something else. What success? Uh, four, five, or six. So yeah, there's just nothing special around here. Just poop. Cool. Well, I still take a moment to look pretentiously off of the distance. Thank you, thoughts. <coughs> no time. Pretentiously. Time well spent. Yeah. <laughs> Gazing. Stroking my own ego, my pastor, <laughs> all at the same time. Give him a little rub on the claws. Being that you're the red like, stone yeah. man sitting and standing out of this perch is just. Yeah, exactly. With my mind. Feeding your <laughs> ego is as the descriptor. Yeah. 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 While Alroy feeds his ego <laughs> about the Bach and loyalty. Oh you can see the baobab trees. The bronze barked <laughs> trees yeah. are below. The cool. wickers have gone inside. They're no longer contemplating their orb. But they're uh, right up at the door uh, and trying to get through with the two big. They're trying to get through the door? <laughs> yeah. They're an odd bunch. Yeah. I like them so much. So glad I have them. <laughs> What do, you, what do you think Alright's thinking about? Um, I always swear he understands more than any of us when he looks at like anything. Because he knows like historiography and stuff, you know? Yeah, everyone here seems to have new ideas. Maybe he's just catching his breath. <laughs> I know I'm trying to. <laughs> so I'm realizing that my haws down by one, so I have to like do something about that because I have too many items. I'm weighed down physically. <laughs> this has been very fun. Uh, I've got the Void Boche drink. Does that restore? I've got a life. I have a, uh, yeah, does that bring it back? Just life, or just like, does it, does it only do life? Or does it only do life? It only be, uh, which is fine. I just, I need a space freedom one way or the other. Say just I want my accentuation. I saw the live nomads when they were drinking it, they would take a spray and they go, ah, ah, ah. And then another squid. It's like this, it's like core breathing. 
course, it could be this one. With that core. Oh. 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 Alright, so I'll go ahead and drink that, maybe restore a health point. Think about that. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. And your, uh, uh, my junk. Yeah, that I don't worry about. Tired. Uh, let's see. I that going this place. Full of radical ideas. Don't mind them, if that makes sense. <laughs> Goes that he hovers out beside you and also sort of hands behind his back, looks out. Right. Like, <laughs> Never butler, no history, too. <laughs> it just kind of like goes between the butler and you. Yes. <laughs> uh, my confidant, my. Well, prior to the, the, the meeting. Our good historian, uh, the, yeah, but my my resource for history <laughs> as recently <laughs> my resource for current events. <laughs> she recalls having to lie about what happened between transpired between the butler and the wicker. <laughs> you can see the ashes on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have the lies. I used to have to have. Choice of your freedom in the whole radically this tower is terrifying. It's the Cthulhu Towers. <laughs> I think uh, Rouge Lombardo, Ramba, and Corny Corny have been with you, and Rouge sort of gets bored. <laughs> so I want to go back to the library. Uh, Corny Corny, you stay here. Uh, make sure. They're safe and Ramba, come back and read to me. Ramba says, I'm gonna stay with these people, but I'll come read to you after. <laughs> so looks ah. suspiciously towards the butler and you and the backs <laughs> to everyone. Don't, don't disturb the war queen when you're down there. She's doing some really important um, communicating with her and the child. Right. She needs some space, you know? Good point. I could ask her about it. He just once trails up as he goes to the stairs. So, um, what else do you think to learn about? So, if Rouge pisses off Katya Samethist and she, like, sticks him in a time crystal or something, what happens to the tower? Corny, go with Rouge. Make sure that make sure that he stays safe. He says, "I'm horny." Oh. You go. <laughs> you. Go. Sure, it's just more likely that they some sort of funny romance would happen between them. <laughs> I have the sense he likes Lord the larger than and... Rouge. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he couldn't be your kind. Uh, Backs are not what's considered. Yes. <laughs> that's what I'm talking Then she'd have to kill Ramba. And that would be a tragedy. So let's just banish it from our minds. Thank you. Yes. Banish it from our minds. <laughs> the thought does this <laughs> literally. It takes a moment. <laughs> oh, I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so let's look at the thought. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Cherubs, furniture, you've kind of seen everything there is to see on this level. I was just going to say, I let out a deep sigh. What meaningfully in the club We both give each other a short time. <laughs> we know, and shall we move on? We expect trouble? Tap the new crystal spear on the ground. Yeah, exactly. 
I'd say we head up the stairs. Uh, Larry sort of hovers along with you, and as you approach the stairs, up oh, first, so long. I love it. How did you do? Is that new? <laughs> no, I didn't remember it being a hover. He's been getting into help with the rest of it. Could be helpful. Could be helpful. I don't know where he was when I was gathering up. Well, maybe he was parking. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He was hanging out with uh, many crabs. Many crabs. As you approach uh, the dried up wine puddle, uh, add a cover into his tail. <laughs> gives rise to several spores uh, that kind of stirred up, and the spores uh, multiply in the air and form into sort of an incorporeal brown spore ghost. And sort of stares at you. It says, None shall pass. We'll see just how it feels about you. Nine. So, seven would be neutral, nine is towards good. Welcome to the winery, and it's loud. Amorphous body sort of gets a lift for a second and then comes back in. But, so, we can't pass? My orders of the War Queen. I will protect from here on out. Again, he gets two sort of arms that come out and then dissipate. Have you talked to the War Queen recently? Because, uh, I mean, I Recently is a, is a void concept for my people. Have you spoken with the War Queen in this moon? Moon. I have spoken with the War Queen. What about, uh, within the last five minutes, because she's, uh, I, I don't like to gossip, but she's kind of gone through some stuff. You want to just go check with her and see if it's okay if we pass? None shall pass. <laughs> minutes, seconds, hours. It starts to <laughs> sort of shudder in its own being. Years, Ooh. months, weeks. <laughs> Duly pressed <laughs> What was it? Oh, spore being? Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> it is. Uh, how, long, uh, how long? How long? Have, how long have you been here? Long. You use arbitrary segments of time. Right. Right. Abstract. Right. Impossible. All is one time. It's, you can tell it's sort of getting nervous at the all okay, this time. Let me let me get time. <laughs> do you uh, do you know this Rouge guy? Rouge, come here. <laughs> Imagine a face on it, like have you seen the dirty bubble in yeah. uh, SpongeBob? Right. But right. well, Rouge would dance too. Oh yeah, call him back up here. Rouge, call, call Rouge back. Rouge. We have this. We have the ghost spirits. Why don't we do it? Do away with this cloud. I was trying to avoid it, but look, buddy, we're gonna go up those stairs. You're gonna either let us, or I'm gonna stab you with my crystal spear. I would die? <laughs> Probably. I will speak with the war queen. <laughs> sort of covers past you all, and you all get a yeasty scent as it sort of breaks against all of your bodies and then reforms. Down the steps. <laughs> you hear a drip. Oh, oh, oh. It's gone. It's a battle of clouds. So. <laughs> Alright. Well played. You gone? Yep. Oh, sweet. Boys. At least for the time being. <laughs> the next floor, you go up, there's like a big staircase. Then, after the long stairs, you come out, you see there's another balcony up here, and out that you can see through the stained glass windows the shadow cast by the web from the spider person. This guy, okay. It's a ballroom. Uh, ten marble tables, you know, fancy, up like the circular slabs of this obsidian bone marble. Uh, and there are statues that are like made of this 
translucent gray green ugly just blobishness in there they're like abstract you probably recognize the historical period but they're what we would call like modern but uh, less concerned with looking you know sleek and aerodynamic gotcha. uh, and you hear as you enter this chamber whispering voices Sort of Butterfly. Loyalty flourishes and spins his ceramic mace in one hand and his porcelain pistol in the other. It looks like he's about to stalk out there after the spider. And then he pauses. I say go for it. I'm with you. I want my order back. Uh, holsters the two things and takes the green dream pistol and just peeks. I'm going to go over to the, um, to the arm shell on the out onto the veranda and just peek around to see if you can catch a really glimpse of a spider screen. Nice. You can see there's a big ceramoplast rain barrel out here and it's like that that the web is sort of built off to and anchored as it goes up to the bottom of uh, another above you uh, uh, platform. Um, let's just up water in a giant web, sticky strands. You look, I guess you look this way because it automatically redirects your gaze <laughs> up. Uh, and does it catch you? See, looking down at you. Probably. So, he looks down from up in his web, which you can see is strewn with, uh, there's glinting jade, like hundreds of bits of jade glinting in it, and uh, some other things, like an accordion. Uh, but he looks down from the webs, which he's sort of holding with one hand and his weird legs into the crystal. Uh, and you see the noise, it's like seeing white noise, you know, just <sighs> static on a screen. And like the signal handshake sound that you had to make to talk to them like, be gone, be gone. <laughs> that's basically what you see as his dream. His last dream. Well, I have to try. I guess I still don't speak bone. How big is this ceramic ring now? It holds 400 gallons, so a big one. A Wash the gallons? spider out. I like the idea. Nice. Uh, yes. uh, yep, it is full. Okay. Well, one thing of bonkers high ha these days, having one of the times. And a ceramic mace that ignores all damage resistance and ought to go through a thing. So let's uh, smash this thing open and see if we can wash the little spider down the race chair. I want to say, about. he's above. I don't know if I don't His webs are all attached on there. I'm imagining a sort of like shattering, collapsing plume of water, all the webs cutting loose and the spider tumbling over the floor. This, this is. This is how a lot of the imagines it going in his mind. Yeah. Whether this actually works out or it just like washes the loyalty away from his doom. Probably I think you're holding this for it. I think you definitely will bust open that area of the ring barrel where it connects to the web, which will cause it to go slack. Wham, you know, he goes against the wall. He may fall. Uh, oh, so no, roll a success is yeah, uh, he falls. A failure is no you. Uh, with the water. That's a failure! Yay! You bust it, <laughs> he hits against the side, but he's able to hang on to his web. Meanwhile, you <laughs> lose your footing with a splash of water, <laughs> are washed down. With the quick reflex of his porcelain leg and loyalty, tip himself free and grab one strand and swing web. Very good. That's just way <laughs> hanging off of the club. Yes. I imagine your foot grabs it though, so you're yeah. hanging upside down. Yeah, it's sticks out. It's like you're kind of a uh, mace in hand. And uh, it says something along the lines of, um, I imagine not going so much better! Let's do initiative. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. It's combat time. How Did I get two go? dice from you? No. Nice. Initiative. I guess you've... 
You'll also get to go first since you have the lane independent of drawing the first die. That makes sense. Oh, the okay. Initiative works like each of you has two dice in here. Uh, and you don't want me to do an extra die. Before we go on my outside, and then I want that extra curves. I draw your die, you do your color. So it's going to be random. The chaos at Mercury is a great way of describing how this system sort of portrays time, I think. It's like a cinematic time. It's where is the camera focusing? And it's not just who's focused on their feet. It's like who has a plan? You know, they put multiple, more or less dice in for enemies or for other characters. It's like, like a dragon has many dice, not because it's quick and snappy, right. but because it's ancient and the camera focuses on it a lot. Right. Side catching. Yeah, just cast your good dice. You'll go on your turn. You got another one, right? This is brutal. If you level him up, I'll give him a die. Okay. Instead, of, how can I level him up? I Instead of leveling yourself up, level him up. Oh, I didn't know that was say. an option. Well, I know now. Yeah. I haven't decided I that it was an option until just yeah. now. No. Alright, so... You better believe he's gonna know. Mercury's leg goes first. Mm -hmm. Mercury. Loyalty Dorian's seventh leg. So is the... Spider is actually attacking us now. Yeah, you can. Range. So you, I has, have you gone out on the balcony as well, or waiting in the doorway, or? I I went out. I went out with him. Okay. All my orbs. So you're up there as well, the fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where, like, the moment he starts splashing on the wall. Oh no! <laughs> All right. Sure, Well, I'm just going to. We're actually still all of it's loose to here. We don't drop anything off the tower. No, nope, the crystal didn't stop the uh, base. Uh, uh, where's my pistol? No, no, no. And swinging. But it's like, that's, that's just a, uh, he's just like, no, no, don't drop the thing. Don't drop the, Smart. Uh, like, um, don't, don't untie that. That's not what you hear. It's okay. <laughs> so future failures won't risk dropping something now. Nice, nice. And then it is Ramba Corny Horny's turn. Uh, Rambo runs out with her. She has a razor circle of metal and throws it up at uh, the creature. Uh, let's see if she succeeds or fails. If she fails, if she gets a one, then uh, the thing doesn't move her angle. Alright. She strikes El Speedray, who, but, uh, you know, he's had a moment, uh, caught himself on the web. Uh, and he moves to hide behind the web, so it cuts a few strands of web instead of him. Rambo, wrong target! Gets it. And then it's... Loyalty Dragon 17. <laughs> Not the web, Rambo the spider! <laughs> um, loyalty is going to... Not actually rescue himself from this particular situation, <laughs> but just try to um, unload his porcelain pistol into a speed ray from this awkward leg like, swing situation. It's such a perfect pose. I just can't resist it. Yeah. Excellent. <coughs> Roll that die. I'll say if you get a one, you miss. Uh, otherwise, two and three, you just lose ammo. Four, five, six, you hit. Um, just lose the ammo. All right. Uh, you shoot again, uh, El Spidre moves uh, out of the way and it strikes a clump of webbing that he sort of, his legs move up and make a shield out of webbing mm. to block him. Uh, when you do that, it causes something to fall. A big shard of uh, precious gem just falls to the ground here. Fuck. Oh, diamond illustration, I remember. Out of his web. And he goes, ah! <laughs> All right. It's the turn of... Do the thing! All right. I almost said Argot. Argot. <laughs> all right, you say he's got precious gems all over the place? Yes. There are... You look at them and see they are 
you know, circular coins with holes in the middle made out of jade. And yeah. there's a few hundred of them. Oh, because I noticed that uh, losing that shard of precious gem kind of annoys it, <laughs> which gives me an idea. Nice. <laughs> so I start holding Castor up, who starts cutting down all of the jade <laughs> and jewels into my hands, trying to agitate it into bringing it in closer. Thieves! Right, man. Getting faster. <laughs> he, he starts hawking. Oh. Loyalty. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. Because okay. you have your auto success with your leg. Yeah. I thought we just pulled one out of the end. No, man. Oh, God. This. Um. You're the warrior of the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get him close, man. I, I just know, yes. Yeah. You guys have stories and professional to citizen on your side. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, you know, as deadly and poisonous as this guy is, maybe shooting is the wrong plan. As he's walk, 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 getting ready to spread his poison, loyalty is going to pull the bottle of Radio Voce. I where it's slung on his back and fling it right into the spider's mouth. Excellent. Roll, see if you succeed. If you fail, it busts against him but doesn't go into his mouth. Oh, no. Let's see if it cures bones. Or does it just make them less clear? Success! Take it again! So it goes into his mouth, bursts, and gosh. Fascinating question. Normally, Voce <laughs> Voce would heal a disease. No, Sweepay is a disease. So it goes into his mouth and sort of, you know, foams up. And then sort of the foam drips out of his mouth and he tries to spit. Uh, and you remember seeing the corrosive venom that he spat before. He spits it down, finally gets one out, and it hits the ground by your feet. But there is no corrosive acid effect, uh, so it is neutralized. Yeah. Nice. His You'll thank me later, Speedrun! <sighs> he moves into position. Oh, no. and... Was that you? Sorry, is that oh no? I'm good. I thought it was the guy working on oh. the carpet. I was like, is he okay? <laughs> Uh, El Speedray comes towards you and tries to grab your scrap away from you. Yeah. Roll uh, to see if you can uh, beat him in a tug of war. Four, five, six, you keep your crab. One, two, three, he takes Castor hostage. Oh, no. Oh, no. And he opens his mouth to go and eat him. Oh, yeah. Castor doesn't know what he's giving into. Oh, my gosh. Castor doesn't know what he's giving Roll for Castor uh, to either get like in his mouth, so that's gonna be his problem. Or if you think of four or five seconds, he can pinch his, you know, view Mila. And so you can see he's like you hear the oh. <laughs> And that's the end of this round. So they all go back in. Oh. Love this. Let's see. It's now L speed raised. <laughs> oh so my God. this uh, will bring Caster to zero life, so he'll be unconscious but not dead if you fail. Otherwise, he can successfully so, you know, like prize the jaws open. Well, he has the ability to pinch uh, where it hurts the most. Oh. He does know this. He has an attack. Yes. Well, this, since it's L speed raised turn, we'll say this is defensive, but if you get another one, he can attack from it. within. Yes. God damn. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. So he falls unconscious <laughs> within his mouth. And you hear just another little no. crunch. <laughs> Not dead. Okay. I'll also uh, have Butler go on the green guy, so he'll charge the tweet party corner button. There's more than one crab here. There's more, one way, more than one way to skin a spider. You take the spear, start wrapping up that web. As it comes down the spear, my vestigial dexterous thumbs next uh, start pulling it up. Very good. <laughs> yeah. I say no need to roll for that. Oh, really? you're, so you're definitely catching up the web, and what's your intention? 
with uh, doing that to bring him closer. Yeah, he's got my friend's crab in his mouth. That's right. I'm he's very impressed. Crab. So he's like sort of upside down. Everybody <laughs> like, was moving so like fast for a second. Clinging to the web that's being pulled away, <laughs> trying yeah. to run up. Uh, and so he stops the chewing. It works. <laughs> And turns towards you and uh, spits caster into your face. He's used to spitting as an attack, so it's sort of yes. his go to move. Thank goodness the caster's uh, unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Roll to see if the cannonball crap hurts and harms you, or you're able to dodge and avoid it, whacking you right on the nose. Four. All right. So it just, you know, you're able to sort of, he hits you, you can catch him if you want, but he doesn't break your nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dodge. It's gonna, he's definitely gonna go over the ledge and out off of the. Uh, it's just the hamster comes out from behind the back. <laughs> For the catch. Oh. You see one. That, Save him. Uh, <laughs> splish splash. Oh, my friend. Oh. Splish splash has seen too many die. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Um, the butler sort of raises an eyebrow and considers whether or not he's going to do anything and oh, casts right. a glance towards Horny and Corny who uh, look at each other and right huddle together and start saying something and then Ramba again throws her uh, a cool name for it but I'm not going to think of it throws the thingy <laughs> the Xena Warrior Princess disc, yeah. princess disc. Yeah. it ledges in the side of the building above so now it's uh, uh, this oh many times ten feet up. Twenty feet up. Oh boy. Alright. Oh, it's a good day to be a giant spider. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of pissed off at both, uh, at all three of you, but not so much you. You two and Ramba. One, two, it's you. Three, four, it's you. Five, six, it's Ramba. Three, four. Well, you really oh, great. Awesome. I should have thrilled you. You could have um, just given me my orb back, but then you go and hurt my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yep. <laughs> he goes towards you and <laughs> I can't resist. Reproduces the orb. It's like yeah. it's in his web and uses it to smash you in the head. Oh, uh, yeah. Roll to try and dodge of four, five, and six. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah. So you dodge and it. <laughs> now there's a crack in your crab and your orb. Oh. Oh, well, I'm actually less concerned about my orb at this point. <laughs> no. I'm more concerned about my crab. All right. Uh, Horny and Corny <laughs> rush in. Oh no. Uh, Where's Grandma? Rouge? Totally. Yes. Horny did. So oh, this is where you talk. And doesn't your grandma have guns? What the hell is she? I think she's oh. uh, I think she's waiting with like guns. guns. Uh, oh yeah. Grandma. She's uh grandma guarding the giant centipede. I mean, oh, yeah, that's right. she that's right. She pops right. out the spider right. from the ground if she <laughs> Gets bored. Yeah. But, uh, we'll remember she's, that. She's about climbing the tower. She's old. <laughs> you, you can look down and see yeah, she moves too. towards this giant gem and she's right. uh, bringing it Slides towards it the centipede. Good. All right, four, five, six, and Corny, who has run out with a dagger, uh, harms uh, the spider. If it's one, two, three, he gets harmed. Very nice. Good job. Yeah. Poor peasants. I know the NPCs are pouring all the weight right now. So he goes to goes to get him, and you know, out of the corner of his eye, Al Speedray sees this, pulls a strand of web to catch his arm in place. Loyalty. Okay. Loyalty is about to try some more excellent trick shooting acrobatics nice. and um, start these comments. When something shifts in the web and he is dropped about 20 feet of web down below the thing and finds himself swinging in front of the library window. Very nice, yes. Picks up at um, Caius Amethyst and Rouge and Corny or whoever else is there. Uh, not sure what sort of scene he's witnessing. In there, you can see Kachi was still like cross legged on the throne reading. And, uh, Rouge has uh, his, he's, he's, he's got a book over his eyes, sort of over his face, and lounging back like this in a chair, uh, and his feet on another. And then uh, the one mage who is in there is reading a book out loud to him. Why don't you roll, if you succeed, the mage sees you. Not to fail. 
Alright, so they're just engrossed in reading and dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my queen, it's just a little bit! Perhaps next turn he will re enter the library, but for now, all one web. Where is he? Caster? No, I know where Caster is. <laughs> uh, he's within reach of you. He's sort of hanging on a web yep. five feet uh, above you. Right, nothing fancy yeah, then. Brought close. I'm taking a stab at him with my flail. Right. There's a risk if you get one, two, or three, he's gonna harm you. I'm rather, he hurt my crap. Yeah. Caster's my friend. Cracked your orb. Six. Very nice. Uh, fully my buddy. You go to get him. He does the same maneuver, sees it coming, wraps your your uh, mace up in web, but this is the last straw. He's used up so much of his web and it's been so damaged that he falls to the ground. Uh, and no more web or shenanigans. I was about to start here. eating my web. Uh, but <laughs> your mace is out of your hand and you'll have to take a turn to grab it or use something else as a weapon. Okay, I have one more weapon. Nice. You came from half. Half luck. Okay, he's on the ground. Out of web. Shove him off. Shield bash him off. <laughs> yeah. Tired of this. <laughs> Four, five, six, you are shot him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very nice. You shove him off. Uh, he grabs onto the same strand of web as you with one oh, of his no. long reaching feet. So you go to, uh, you sort of stop your penduluming <laughs> and he's holding on. Oh, good. 20 feet above you. Uh-huh. Quick! Think about loyalty. A box turn again. Oh yeah. Or holds the spear. Oh no no no! I'm oh, sorry, it's outright. Oh, you're okay. That's right. So he's still uh, he's swinging, but now he's above. We're both we're both swinging on the yeah, same way. Different parts. Um, you should totally cut the other one. Loyalty will be fine. I got this. Will you be fine? <laughs> I mean, no, I'm just, if I'm you just ask coming. loyalty, yeah, I, I love seeing this character get much in, in, in trouble generally, and so I encourage. Well, I'm not gonna like send you to your dad. You Remember, know, he has the crystal because you tried to negotiate with him. He specifically kept it because somebody shot him in the face, and now yeah. we're at the situation. Where no, I, I, I understand. It's it's his fault, but I <laughs> like to think that I'm a better man. I grab my flail. I'm a better man. I am a stone guy. <laughs> Loyalty is about here. Uh, oh, is that, you'd, lose two, you'd lose two life if you fell. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's, right. that's too much. You're, where are you sitting? I'm saying that you lose one life or ten feet. You have four life. Yeah, we're already half down. Loyalty might. Loyalty is level four. He has five life. That's where all that are going to like death in the first one. Yep. Whatever level you are, plus one is your life. Yeah. Oh. So I'm at level four. You also have five life. Yeah. Captain, Which you is not ha? <coughs> nope. It's different. Once ha, like, no, ha goes down when you're getting Got it. snake okay. bites. That's good. Wow! This is the longest possible round, and it's another one for loyalty. All right. Um, I got your shot. Shoot him. You're goddamn fault. <laughs> Let's try to. Um... <coughs> How many pieces? Oh, yeah, here, this is perfect. <laughs> Loyalty is going to try to um, get into that library window. Um, if there's glass, we're going through the glass. Nice. If there's no glass, we're just going to try to grab, pull up the ledge. Excellent. Um, we're going to go into the library window and then yank on the table and bring the spider down past it, totally forgetting that it's going to still attach to the other end. This is false spot. <laughs> You're in the library. It's not far away on the He's got this very clever double move, but he's not going to remember that the spider will have fallen over on that double window. You're in. Uh, the question is, are you hale enough to uh, sort of successfully pull him in? So roll, success, fail on that. As you come in, uh, Rouge starts and the book falls off of his face and he looks towards you and says, what? Uh, Katu looks up throws the book to the ground, stands up, takes out her rod that has a Euro symbol on top, 
And, uh... Rouge, my lady, no need to be concerned. <laughs> Everything is in here. Let's yes. All right. You see, uh, they all see you say that, and then you, and then you, ah! you see him fall behind you, and you... Hello, we, uh, we are just doing a little housekeeping, dispensing with a spider. Ah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> looks, looks out the window at you. All right. Uh, <coughs> you fall and take two damage, as does L Speaker. How many life does L Speaker have? Uh, he's got two, two left. Two less and two left. I'm happy to kind of tell you where they're at. That's the end of the round. Uh, note that uh, Grandma is probably right here. Yeah. Exactly, she's on the ground now. I, I may use my initiative for her after when it comes up. Excellent. Yes. Time. Green. So, Ramba caught you. I think caught you might flex a little bit here. Uh, cast slow on the spider. So he's scuttling up and into position and he starts going. That's fast. Uh, this is just to see if something, if there's a backfire, if there's a one for Kachi. So now you've got a big slow scorpion king spider. On and the it's ground. His turn. Yep. Uh, he's gonna come at you, but we'll say it's with disadvantage. So he can't harm you. But uh, he can sort of pin you, and then if he does that next round, he'll be able to harm you. Roll a uh, success fail. Fail, he's got you pinned. Alright. Oh, you roll out of the, the way of the slow moving spider, that's the end of the round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> well, we sort of do that. <laughs> Uh, we'll say the slow lasts, uh, oh boy, some number of rounds. Oh, Three rounds of slow, and that was one of them. What's the crab's name again? Master. Yes. Master. Okay. Swiss Lash, get caster to pep it in. Stab his spear into the ground, take up a crossbow to cover. Caster is in your hands. Uh, I feel like if Caster had a license plate, it would be CSTR8. What? If Caster had a license plate, it would be CSTR8. It would be. Caster. Alright, Caster's safety. Oh, my friend. Caster is my unconscious. My companion, I know. I know. Oh, okay, well, let's fire uh, away. Like big crab claw. <laughs> 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 oh, squish splash. Alright. My spacious <laughs> lights. Just the falling strands of what's left of the webbing falling behind them. Right. We made a big mess of this. He jingles <laughs> as jade coins fall onto the. All right, I'll fire that crossbow down and I'll speed race if I can help you out. All right, nope. you, hit, you hit him, but, well, no, no, no. You don't hit him, I'm sorry. You just lose uh, one of your three ammo <laughs> strikes against him. three for crossbow. Yeah, absolutely useless, but hey, you keep that trying. Conventional combat is definitely not my strength for what I've learned in this game. <laughs> Loyalty and or diligence. <laughs> um. Grandma, that would be a good time! Yeah, and Dylan just <laughs> floors her neck and pull, 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 pull. Great, she's got advantage, so let's see if she does one or two damage. Nice. Alright, All right. El Speedre is, uh, I'm gonna, you know, normally I'd give you the choice of do you kill him or do you just knock him out, but probably Grandma's gonna kill him. I was gonna kill him. Grandma does and I will. Not at this particular moment. And we're out of initiative. Hold on to this next person. I'm happy to do this paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, as 
you know, meat uh, rising. <laughs> and after after his body shudders and ends, you hear that the printer that she installed on the Mac printing out a, a new uh, a new ledger. Uh, that's pretty great. <laughs> I feel like that earns some experience points. Oh, there's no experience in work suffering <laughs> that I'm really just different. My caster is oh, enduring right now. No, no, no experience for combat. What's that? No experience for combat. Oh, fair enough. Oh. Nothing. But he's dead. No, well, do we get nothing? How many jewels are in this way? Alright. You uh, look up and I already uh, have found them out. There's, like I said, a couple hundred. So, 300 is your accurate estimation after the word of the lens. <laughs> worth how much? Like, like around. Um, they are each worth one credit. It's like 300 credits total. The shard, which Diligence was carrying, put down from the mm -hmm. is bigger, and it's made of painite rather than jade, and it's worth 900 credits. It's worth what? 900 credits. No, 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 no. what do you say it's worth? 900. No, 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 I'm sorry, what is it made of? Ah, cool. <laughs> no, but how much is your so? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A-I-N height. And it takes up uh, two slots. It's full. 900. Got it. Well, you can run my little bet on that. Yeah, I very, well, well, I'm I'm very, very I can't. Mm -hmm. You got it, yeah. <laughs> like, loyalty is just like, gets up. Uh, right? Helps yeah. with loading. Um, and there's um, an accordion in it as well. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. So, my spell computer has a redo me spell. Re that. Regenerate. So that's regenerate. If, you lose, if you lose a limb. Got it. Not a redo me. Yeah, that's right. Limb regeneration. Should be down. Should limb regeneration. Be down. Should be down. So I have to... <laughs> caster is down. How many lives does Caster have? Or health? Just got one health. Yeah. And then... Uh, Presumably he can move. I mean, poor guy's unconscious. Yeah. So I am going to wrap him in my robes. Mm -hmm. Do I have to count him as my? Yeah. So okay, yeah, I'll so say injured. I mean, the monks are. Oh, and also, have a I have a surgeon team. and a fisherman. How long do I have to carry that? Until you spend a week resting. Or mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you could drink coffee while taking that. Well, I can't yeah. mine away into that yeah. asshole. Mm -hmm. They're just like. Snicker. Yeah. I just threw my last part over the fighter. <laughs> Hang up when that happens. But we do have a fisherman and a surgeon amongst our allies. Second yellow. Right. Fisherman. Who's the surgeon? Uh, Pepto. Pepto. Yeah. Oh, he's not here. Sure. sure. I mean, they're not here, but you could, yeah, say you leave Caster with them to attend to it more. I could do that. So, if that's an option, I would do that. Okay. Yep. Yes, yeah, I'm going to leave and do your best. I can't tell you how much this uh, little shelf is. If it were the other way around and the vampire man was the fisherman, and the <laughs> I probably wouldn't trust them, but the fact is. Yeah, they'll work together. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the vampire sort of licks his lips and yellow you know, like slaps his hands. Thank you. <laughs> Back when I was studying at the academy. I was not a popular guy. Just as a little young upstart, nobody wanted to be friendly. So I go out to the edge of the and I'm scaring out and myself. Oh. Oh. Maybe on the other shoreline someplace. Oh. Maybe there's my friend. Oh. And then a can, an empty can, stir beside me. And I'll poke a little fun. Oh. I thought, oh, I swear to God, I've cast your There's no way that you can be my friend, you're a crap. But I went back the next day and he was still there. And that's why he came out and he switched me. And it hurt like hell. And I swear to God, I'm not going back to that spot again. So I go back to my room, I'm sad. And the next day I go back out. But this time I'm like 100 yards down the beach. And it's little, this little thing's coming after me. But then he stops. 
and he pokes both claws out. His weird little stocky eyes. And he walks over to me and he just puts his claw right on my toe. I was gonna jump away, but I knew. Are we gonna cast the best one? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I picked him up, I took him back to my room, I fed him with a little scratch we could. And I didn't get much food because again, it wasn't you're a scholar, You were a scholar, so it was probably ramen. Exactly. But he made it all right. And uh, for the rest of my studies, we grew together. <laughs> the glaze on my brick got shinier, caster got bigger, and here we are today. So you better take this care of it. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> that is the history of this crab. Right. <laughs> it's a story. He's more than a crab. Captain, Captain, despite himself, is sort of like, it's <laughs> still And do be careful anyway. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to startle him. We've gotten a lot stronger over the years. If anything happens to that crab, it'll break his stone heart. Oh. So that's obviously the most dangerous thing this tower, right? <laughs> well, it was the first danger you saw. Yeah. I was certainly in our biggest fight. Yeah. We've managed to not fight the lady who is in charge of this whole tower, so that's good. I've adopted not violence as my like primary. No, right. I lead with it. Give it this. I want to make companions. I know what it's like to be alone. I'm gonna say, honestly, at this point, the thought's like that's dealt with the baker. Monster? I wanna go read a book in the time tower. Right. I like the idea of story time. <laughs> Secretly, Hathak really wants to read up more on these porcelain princes to try and develop that skill of more because uh, the concept of just being absorbed into a greater whole and not having to face these wicked conundrums is becoming more appealing to him. As you are um, recuperating from the fight, thinking about learning more about the princes in the library, you're loading stuff onto the caravan. Considering uh, that uh, she's going to go already, yeah, she wants to try to go back yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. Trees. Three pieces of paper drift down like leaves from high up in the tower. They are, you look at them and see that there are three discarded sketches. So someone's been sketching one with charcoal, one with Conte, two with Conte, crayon, uh, of a meditating figure surrounded by, you know, vine lines that seem to be like on the walls or on the feet. They, they've tried different sort of ideas of how the vines are going. Um, in a garret, you can see from the shading that there's like in a circular room on the top of the tower. Uh, and they're pretty damn good. Like someone knew what they were doing. You think you could get 50 credits each for these uh, sketches. They landed on the ground? Yep, they like got fallen on the tower. And, well, first, uh, I want to keep playing fast with Bruce for loyalty, so health and safety, and uh, have him climb a bail down tree and get back in the library window. Excellent. Are they that tall? I don't know. Are they that They're tall? bumping up against the door. You've come down with Caster to drop off. Have you come down to the ground floor with them? Um, I wouldn't have. If we had it down, I would have gotten sidetracked in the library. Alright, sorry. The trees were bumping up against this front door. Oh, yeah. I guess that's where, that's where you'd have to stop. Sorry. Sorry, right. You're able to climb up into them. They're really Wait. just... Well, okay. Where's the next highest up opening? Isn't there a window here? Nope, this is the next highest up. Okay. Um, so they're just crowding around the door, and I'm yeah. trying to you could, be, you could get through them. Right. It's it's kind of hollow like, drops. Like, yeah. It's just like, it's, trying, it's like getting it's like a ninja warrior obstacle. You just have to wait to <laughs> time it right so you can go into the next yeah. slot. And you have well, plenty of time. I've got all kinds of time. For now, the number of trees following your party is... Uh, Minor Ninja Warrior Challenge. Right. Manageable. Yeah. 
It's gonna get extended. Put it down as minor. So I take, uh, so I take Gaster out and now I leave him in engageable hands, but I'm outside of the tower as well. Okay, you're out there. You are able to climb up in the trees because they're really just bumping against the doorway over and over again. They are tall enough. So sorry, it just sounds oh, so yeah, cool. Oh yeah, <laughs> Sorry, I've got, I did say there's a window here. Yeah. But so anyway. my other thought was, you know, okay, so if we could rewind for a moment, if that is a window, am I able to lower down on my silver thread into the branches of the tree? The unbreakable silver string. Right. I have six of them. Yep. They're each like seven inches long. Oh. <laughs> All right, on the way. Oh, they're great. I'm keeping them. But if I go, we're going. Uh, I'm going back to the Ninja Warrior and say I get captured. We're back to work. And you are able to get back up by the back. Okay. It is that tall. Um, Twenty feet tall. These trees. It's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that. Reminds me when you go through, uh, Root comes up and addresses you in its. Uh, <laughs> right. But recognize as. Uh, I speak Polish. Yeah. Yeah. It, it says, uh, "Have you learned the Hesseline?" The Hesseline? Yes. What does it want? Um. <laughs> Look. Here's the thing. Do you see my crab? Yes, I sense it. I know. It says the Bible. I need to get him out to a doctor. I'll come back and tell you all about this. Very well. They part to yeah. so let me through. Oh, through my God. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm a folk teller. Uh, uh, Excellent. Yeah. If you want to get back in, you'll either have to go through the window or go through the vines. I can't uh, climb. You can climb up through the window. So you can yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Well, obviously, I'm doing that. So put that on. <laughs> Great. Good thing those trees are following you. <laughs> How convenient. But I'm not back up there yet. Nice. We'll see you get back up there. All right, I'm back up there. Yep. You're up there. You oh. go in through the window as well. Yeah, loyalty's showing inspections around the company's library. Let's see if anyone knows who it is. Okay, roll a. Uh, and wait a minute. That's yes. Like, no for me on whether anybody knows who it is. That's a yes. The butler looks at them. No. Well, we got some more. Nods and says that is Hesley. The mage. She he points and says, it seems she has grown a beetle-like carapace since last I saw her. Beetle-like carapace is going to Which I personally kind of find arousing because it makes me think of my, you know, ladies. Yes, she's lovely. She is lovely. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> I think we need to continue on this. I'm definitely buried in the book, like purposefully I'm not engaging with this situation. Roll, 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 a, roll, a, roll a d6 just to see what kind of book you come across first. Hiya! Three. Damn it. <laughs> it's a book called Swords of Coherent Light. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Maybe they can Describes, you know, it has blueprints for. <laughs> long, long time ago. Exactly, it starts a long, long time ago. It's, it was a more civilized age when they used these things. Very elegant weapon. It was. But uh, you have 
No, you know, vague blueprints for how to make one. Vague. <laughs> Written in like old, right? Whatever ink, whatever old common. Actually, you know what? In gratitude for saving Caster, let me see your plans. Which plans? The one you're reading. Oh yeah, this is a great book. Yeah, here. <laughs> <laughs> Not making eye contact with you or the butler. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, crystal. I'll translate those into uh, like accurate modern day nice. text so that you have a chance to bring your light stick into reality. Thanks. It's really got my mind wrapped up. <laughs> those have been. <laughs> Nobody has used those for eons. <laughs> Just impractical. Uh, for directions it, from. Countess Amethyst on um, how to proceed. My lady, we're going to the top of the tower. We must explore everything for the more neutral, neutral part of it. But uh, how should we how should we handle ourselves? Yes, the <laughs> we already spoke you already spoke with them through the wickers, and they said it's okay if we live here. Their wickers will give us a wide berth. I see no need to address Miss Hasseline. Perhaps she's best left alone. As you wish, brother. So she seen them. Just asking. <laughs> she's gone unseen for some time. <laughs> I spoke to her once, and she was she recognized uh, my right to this tower and the greatness of my empire. I consider her an honorary court wizard, the timeless court. You can see that she's sort of, her long years of isolation have been very grandiose and sort of uh, generous with the titles. Recognizing the power of the timeless court seems like the very basic, at least that we can expect. She rubs her chin with her rod of, of um, time magic. Yes. Does yes. she pay tithes? should request a tie. No, she demand go, one. Is it to court? Does she come for tea? As my knight, she finds to him. She says, I give you a quest. Speak to the wizard of the garret and inform them that her lady lord is displeased and wishes to see greater magics on our behalf. She could break the spell and free us from the tower. Tell her that this is her, her task. Oh, excellent. We'll go on endless quests. Yes. From the rainbows to the sea, through the sky, slave foul beasts and our dominion will spread from horizon to horizon. She, she was really, she was waiting for the All dominion about before a time to the first. Yes. Yes. The world will be your dream. All right, let's, let's go talk it's, to her. It's her turn to go up to the window and yeah. stick her. <laughs> yeah, screw this the weird The butler hovers beside her and stares <laughs> this way. <laughs> it's like the views up here are actually pretty great. <laughs> screw this capitalist society. Let's fall back on time-altering feudalism. Yeah, <laughs> You could have your own feud. Uh, so oh, but, the butler's going to stay here with... Uh, with Caillou, Rouge is bored and wants to go up and see what the next rooms are too. So Horny Corny and Rampa are with you. Oh yeah, if the butler's staying here, then I'm, then I'm going up. <laughs> as, you, as you go up the stairs, you can hear the butler begin to address Katu Sam first and say, My Rouge, have you ever been seen? <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, this is the last place you ran, you ran past here to have your conflict, um, right, within are marble tables, whispers emanating from somewhere, and you, when you went past, you saw, here's the stairs you've been going up, but there's another staircase that leads only down over here. Uh -huh. Oh, I suppose, down into the, uh, the buttress. Exactly. Uh, Do we know it's doing the whisper? Do we see it? Oh, what's that? The whispers. Oh, you investigate, look for where the whispers are, let me just, some time passes. 
you see the whiskers are coming from this area, you go and these squiggly lines are tapestries. Yeah. The tapestries depict mages uh, with uh, sundial wands. <laughs> Lots of sundials on top. Uh, and let me check my notes. Yeah. The tapestries depict Kachisa Amethysts unmoving, sitting on a throne, but the mages appear to be moving slightly and whispering to each other behind her back. Mm. Uh, you listen in, and they are speaking in a very old tongue, so a real success to see if you <laughs> have it. It is so old, it's actually futuristic, you realize upon listening to it. It's a development of uh, the Greenland tongue, uh, but coming together with the Redland tongue, which in the geopolitics of this day is highly unlikely. Uh, but for sure. it seems to have happened in a future age that these mages are familiar with. So that's what the whispering is. Um, you, the ground shakes. <laughs> and you hear diligence uh, call out from below, right from the balcony, and say, "We should, we should battle it with the worm." Uh, and you hear Captain trying to talk some sense into her. Uh, let's go back out on the balcony and take a look. Yeah, yeah. Giant porcupine. Uh, uh, lumbering towards the tower, uh, and it is clearly a foam porcupine. It's like the the spines are um, the end of the Matrix trilogy. There's this thing that has a bunch of spikes coming off of it, and electricity's like going through them. That's going on. So there's like electricity coming off. That's a great place. idea, Captain. You should battle it with the worm. <laughs> we'll be in the tower. Good luck. The camel is frantically <laughs> eating grass. <laughs> Uh, your grandma goes to get on top of the worm. <laughs> goes to get on top of the worm as you walk. I, I just hoping for, you know, some sort of kaiju uh, battle backdrop. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's, so that's going on. Uh, how close is it? Great question. This many times 100 yards. 500 yards. So, closing fast. It's lumbersome. But nonetheless, we're gonna have to deal with it in the near future. Yeah. Or, or uh, you could just leave it to the off-screen characters to deal with using your giant worm, which would be a 50-50 chance between the worm killing the porcupine and the porcupine killing. I right. could go down there and see if my kaiju can help. I have about some more. I personally would rather not be in the library or in the top of this tower, I'd rather just... I think, yeah, I'd like to respect the cow for trees. <laughs> this is perfect. This is a great idea. I'll go help Nana. <laughs> hold on, make my way down so fast. The, uh, the vines come up uh, and face oh. you and go... We don't own, we don't own, we don't own. But they, you can just go past them. They're, they're yeah. barring your passage. The trees are there. And uh, as you approach, they get more excited and sort of bob and weave oh, more. Yeah. Okay. All right. You, they're uh, they they seem to be you know excited to see you. Oh, that's that's nice. It's a little different than before. I just don't know what that guy was so sad about when I met him. <laughs> They push uh, eagerly. You haven't gotten through the door yet because they're yeah. kind of blocking the way. They push eagerly. You can hear the the structures start to <laughs> under the weight Ooh. of their approach. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should probably get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope that date goes well. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get through the trees. All right. Uh, give me a success. If you fail, you get harmed along the way. I just yeah. sort of the two come to they two both right. go towards you and crush you. I am the one bearing this curse. <laughs> Yep. Oh. <laughs> so you're able to squeeze through, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately they start yeah, to follow you. Just being a boss, like, 
for the little bits that it was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 it down. <laughs> and then continue moving on their own. Oh, it's a little strand that's left behind. Oh, is it a life or something else? One life. One life. Okay, got it. Cool, cool. All right, as long as I got through it. So you can see uh, Grandma is looking uh, and readying her guns as she trains them on the approaching fourth time. And she says, when it gets over the next hill, fire! <laughs> <laughs> What I could do about uh, slowing his pace. <laughs> Maybe you can get more shots in that way, more volleys. Excellent. Come on. <laughs> You're just here. Just, just look like I'm calling on my buddies. Thinking <laughs> of <with> murder trees. <laughs> they follow. Very excited. It's a little slow. They're slower. Yeah. What's your plan of attack with the giant porcupine? Oh, uh, it's to not engage the porcupine, yet continue to try and maneuver the trees as such where it has to keep trying to move around. Ah, <laughs> it is used, trying to use the trees. Trees. Yeah. So while you're out there doing the Slowly tree, that gives us an advantage to the, the worm battle. So it was 50-50, one dies or the other. Uh, I guess we'll say maybe we'll leave you down there and go back to these folks. Yeah. My thinking now is... 50, the wor or the porcupine dies no matter what, and the 50 50 is does the worm die too. Okay, good. And then back up to you. You're in this chamber. Stairs going up, stairs going down to the butt buttress, perhaps. Right. Um... I'm still, you know, maybe a little bit. Don't well, forget to Ryan. Send him below. Get to Ryan. Would you go uh, see what's in the cellar? Oh, oh, yeah. I forgot I was here. Is that Steve? I forgot I was here. <laughs> Good catch. Good catch. Oh, I didn't see myself. Nasty mercenary Lincoln's score, not the loot the cellar. Right. He goes down there, some time passes. Uh, well, then, time passes. You see another, just out the window, you're kind of, you just see another. Painting come out of the fallout or sketch fall <laughs> from above. Uh, comes back up and says, There's a beautiful hallway made out of skeletons. Really lovely creative arrangement, actually. I'd love to have one in my tower. Uh, there is a. He's, He's wearing a breastplate. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Uh, he's wearing a turquoise tor tortoise shell breastplate uh, that's charred. It's that this was full of the ashes of its former owner. Now it's mine. Uh, there's Where are we going to look at these? <laughs> Good choice. Thank you. <laughs> Pounds against it. I knew this. I never knew this tower job was going to pay so pay so many dividends. There's a locked room and then a bedroom with a mummified corpse on it, holding, it was holding this, and he holds up Kachu's time rod, the second one. Oh, another one. It was also a, like, computer or something. Well, clearly this is a sign, what else is it? Time rod. So this is clearly a sign that we must... You can, uh, or Rhino for a moment is taken <laughs> from me, but he cuts you out. He, he looks at his breastplate. Yeah, he's coming off by this <laughs> This is a sign that we must... Learn the magic of the Dreamwalkers. And, um, well, they just got to wave that thing around and practice some Dreamwalker magic. Excellent. He's not a real mage, but he's seen, he's seen mages play magic wands. He kind of knows the right gesture. Let's see what happens. Evens a taste, odds it's slow, and then roll a d6 of your own. I want to see if it's a 1. Odds oh, it's slow. So you're waving around, and as you do, you slow down, and Orion starts to laugh. Ah. 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 You like I'm dreamwalking on the sun. Slow. <laughs> slow. Well, he's gonna look 
out past the belt and you can see if that um, sketch is still drifting. Has it slowed to a slow drift? Is it the whole world? Uh, it seems to be. It seems to be going in fast motion compared relative to your perception. So there's there's a, a boundary to it. Yes. Interesting. Um, After twenty seconds, it wears off. Okay. Okay. Don't do that again. <laughs> Until you get some lessons, either for your girlfriend or I suppose I can go. I'm an necromancer. I forgot about that. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you wait here. I'm gonna go have a talk with this person. Or try to. The mummy. Yes. Excellent. So I go downstairs. Is it gonna be like he's already got it? People are like, oh, the good news I wonder if it's just like the dead version of spirit costumes before she figured out that she's got to get back in touch with young Cotton's. That could be a really angry Cotton's right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope it goes well for him. Well, they're dead, so. <laughs> Oh, wow. Beautiful moment. It cuts from there to you know a scene of down like the like, camera's looking down this hallway of really creatively mandala femurs and skulls and bones. Mm -hmm. uh, you're coming down like the ch -ch 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 ladder uh, and the door creaks and you see the open door. There's one door closed that's made of bronze and there's one door open that's just made of bones. Made of bones. So I'm walking down this hallway thinking that. This is actually kind of beautiful. More morbid for my taste. But calls back the uh, early to mid late Middle Ages, shortly after the Great Plagues, uh, when there wasn't enough work to harvest real materials and we had plenty of dead people. So, fascinating. We approach the bed. There's the corpse. Yep, dried up, desiccated. Mummy has the nemesis of uh, Katu. Right. I approach the bed. I sit down. I look. I know right away I'm not going to get much out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that the more recent something has perished, the more effective the necromancy is going to be. It's a time sensitive one. That was the first thing he taught us. <laughs> but I also know that there's a chance that if I can get anything about this wand, then loyalty upstairs might not get more of the <laughs> So, I'm willing to try. We can spend some time on this. We, we've got a long time to wait until the party kill. Yeah. <laughs> As a player, I can be very patient. <laughs> I reach over and I put my hand on its sternum and I close my eyes. And I whisper, right there. Uh, see its reaction. I don't want to be too loud. It's been sleeping for a long time. And your intention is just to sort of speak with it, Correct. not to bring it back to life. No, no. That's why I've always understood that way to speak. I don't think it is. Uh, okay. I'm going with that. I, uh, is that okay? Everybody understand? Yeah. I love that. I mean, that, yeah, that wasn't on the top. <laughs> if you wake it up, take it down to the library. Right. Your interpretation is the truth. Right. Um, what did, well, I'm sorry, say what you said again and we'll get back. I whisper, are you there? Because I don't want to start it. You hear a uh, voice, I mean, the thing speaks to Thank <laughs> you. 
describes how you can do hate stores. So that's, <laughs> that's great. That's great. Sticks out here. Does the motions. <laughs> so, sorry to disturb you. I'm going to leave you back to it. But uh, out of curiosity, what happened to you? Sort of. see in the corner as you're going out and kind of like behind the door there's a cracked cubic mainframe. Yeah. Both last night. Yeah. Totally. It's a big crack moving through it. So I go back upstairs. As soon as you're back out, Will just going to be like, hey, hope you got some good advice from the ashes of the queen. Let's rock the next floor. <laughs> Idea. Let's go. You, you like. I'm imagining you just like, dip, 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 and you following on, and Orion are like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, okay. Back outside. Bring it to the left. <laughs> it's like a whole little dance. This <laughs> way. <laughs> Twirling with the spear. Oh, he really thinks he's directing at this point, but they're just following. <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> the curse just follows him. Yeah. <laughs> it's him he's communicating. Like you find. <laughs> um, I guess the port finds signs of the thing about me spirit all the Since the trees are bronze, does bronze conduct electricity? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. A little bit. A little oh, bit. It's not brass in it. it. Or, um, copper, yeah. Yeah. copper and tin is what yeah. you make bronze with, so we'll do a quick little Google, so, maybe. The electricity of the porcupine, when it butts up against them, is conducted through the bronze veil baths. But I don't really know what that does. It doesn't really, it just be grounded. Yeah. It makes glass out of the step sailing. There we go, yeah. yeah. So there's a big giant glass tree footprints as they zap and stuff. Giant glass tree footprints. Exactly. You see uh, Pethok running and breaks one just incidentally while you run. And then back to you. You all rise up to the next floor. Really? Okay, so bronze is less conductive than copper. 
so much so it's, uh, with some browns having as low as 7% of copper conductivity and others having around 15%. Somewhat connected. Nine. So we'll say that these ones, this is the stupidest roll I've made, they are this plus 5% conduct conductive compared to 12% uh, conductive compared to copper. <laughs> that's how we got that clear up. Yeah. That was the stupidest roll I've ever made. <laughs> You'll be surprised how quickly that'll come up. Yeah. <laughs> you said. <laughs> you said it was 12% conductive, and we need this factory online. <laughs> oh my god, just a sea of bow bands in a warehouse. <laughs> now, if we could just tie them down long enough so they don't tear down the building itself, we can get the super <laughs> This is. This is what Super activate the time rod! <laughs> The field slow. And then we pick up the milk. And we will be able to defeat the sad traps <laughs> monsters. <laughs> Crystal glimpse. Sorry, what was that conductivity? 13%? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 12%, 12 of copper. 12%. copper. I had forgotten completely that there were bronze. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was thinking they were just made of apps that will follow two rounds. I forgot. On the way up, I mentioned the uh, the hallway that you went through, the long stairs to get up to here. That right, you now understand it like went past the buttress level, but on on the other side of the wall. Um, in that, there's a bunch of uh, three-color agit prop of Katyu. Uh, yeah, I remember that from last time. Could be good. Yeah. Okay. That, there was, in here, there's a, like a bunch of little bins of them, uh -huh. but in the stairs up from here, there's oh, thing posters. Okay. Cool. Royalties um, taking the most attractive one. He's gonna like, as soon as he has a place to hang for a minute, he's gonna like fanboy, put that up in the store room. Nice. You take it down, and behind it, what? there is a secret laboratory no for way. vats with inert peacocks in them, uh, all sort of, you know, like floating in goo. And on top of them, they're all like wired up to uh, this glowing, throbbing blue gem shaped like a D8, uh, made out of some blue uh, blue crystal. And you and Oriano and Alroy, all your eyes are sort of against your will drawn towards that gem. You can choose to look away, but it, it's, it's yeah, this is its effect. Yeah. Uh, Should we haste it or smash it? <laughs> What do you think would happen if you hasted it? It would probably... Boop, boop, boop. You can make a strip light out of it. Yeah. Maybe it would break up all those peacocks. Right? Peacocks. Bob. I don't know, we're just like... I like collecting creatures, you know? That's, <laughs> uh... A thousand camels was a good idea. But... Crabs and centipedes and peacocks, so why? It's just so much. It's true. So much more exciting. There's a. Uh, there's also. Oh, I think I actually. Do you really explore this somewhere? We get to the image. Uh, in the room, there's also slabs uh, and a shelf. And in the shelf, you can see one empty jar and one jar swirling with a uh, spore creature, like the one you met down below. So this comes off of. Here was the hallway that you went into. This door is locked, so you couldn't get in there. But this is the hallway with the mummy. And then this is where you just were. You made it through the secret door in here. Wow. I can't believe that the family goes to the world. Good job, loyalty. We really have a crush. That's, that's how you find this secret. I think I have a jar full of sport creature. Yep. Jarred spore creature is a slab, and we'll say that there's also two other laboratory type things. Uh, Kai, what other lab mm -hmm. thing? Spore creature, peacocks, and. 
there's ominous bubbling sound and like a it's all that happy and the peacocks are like bobbing in the goo. Goo. Mm. Call them goo cocks. I <laughs> suppose you could call them that. There's really nothing stopping you from calling them. They probably should be. They probably should be. <laughs> but there is it. <laughs> what was it? Something about defeating Moon Was that? Yeah. That was the last place. Defeating Moon That sounds super cool. Okay. You know the elves live. Do you guys want to go super brutalistic with shriveled heads, or do you want to go more like uh, alchemical, like concept of turning moon sand into something else, like a liquid or mercury's not in that one? Yeah, that's that's my contribution. That's a similar jar full of liquid moon sand. Uh, and then it's on me. There's my work. What the fuck do you use this for? <laughs> you, can, you can you can really paint a picture of what this whole place looks like. But. Well, I can, and I'm trying to I'm trying to put the right piece of equipment in there because mm -hmm. I want to be a landy and make it something one day. It's not what we're doing here, is it? So. Normally, when I do this in other fantasy games, I do limit it to mundane things. But this being UPG, you can go nuts. You, <laughs> you can go there. It's like there's a uh, there's it, it's the most all... fantastical things can be mundane in this scene. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, Talking to Charlie. Yeah. Good. I was gonna I was gonna ask if somebody grabbing it. You're grabbing the liquid. <laughs> somebody gotta get that liquid. <laughs> it's uh it. Sitting on a pedestal is uh, resting on its stand. Is uh, it's a it's a what is it? It's a cup. How would I say that? It's a conocular. Conocular. Which is an optical device that allows you to look at a being. You have to be close to it. You can't just like set it across the room. Up against it and it will give you the level of time which that creature holds. Excellent. Excellent. Which is the life force. Exactly. So, an older person who's slowing down and less. Right. Like your baby would be from the car. That is a very useful action. Yeah. 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 Uh, leave his set of oculars sitting on the pedestal. Yeah, Very nice. Yeah. It, you know, it starts to go down, a boulder starts to roll, but he's placing this. Yeah. <laughs> boulder rolls back up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry about that. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> not my day. Uh, and then look through the binoculars at the pickup. Yeah, exactly. Um, you look through it at them and. <coughs> The gem is radiant with cop. Uh, the peacocks are oddly sort of like, they're all on different syncopations, but they start sort of black, like imagine if you were looking at something that no, had no heat through thermo goggles, but then they grow as radiant as the gem and then they go black again over and over again. How big is this gem? Um, big is like two heads. Okay. Hmm. That sounds. And it looks to be worth uh, 1,800 yeah. credits. I'm going to. Get it's that. also evil. You can just tell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking evil! Like you, you looking at it, and just like it catches your eyes, and the more you look at it, the more you just get a feeling like. This ain't right. You know. Let's. Yeah, I was like, give it a poke, but you guys, you guys I think don't we, touch it. It's evil. I think we should leave it alone. It feels as a as a gem would, very smooth, nicely faceted. Right. You don't get a it's shock shaped. Rate. As you get close to it, and less of the radiance is kind of like coming off of it. You can see it's shaped 
Uh, it's cut with a bunch of lovely facets, but in the shape of like a uh, human heart. Ooh. Very pretty. This thing creeps me out. <laughs> It's all yours, Ryan. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Doesn't bother me none. Creepy, but <sighs> it wrenches it out of the housing that it's in. Busts <laughs> there. Are, it's a it's a metallic housing out of which comes four tubes into the cylinders. Busts out, and all of the peacocks at once open their glowing red eyes, floating in the gloom. <gasps> And you hear in your mind's ear, Why was I born? Why was I born? What is this? What is it to be? And they get to start. Somewhere in haste! Somewhere in haste! This makes it all the command, yeah. Just kind of shake it around and open. <laughs> you don't, so you don't, it could be haste or slow. <laughs> it could be haste or slow. I'm trying to tell you! <laughs> Roll to see if you want. Odds it's slow. Even the taste. Alright. Uh, Alright, you go out the room. <laughs> you hear as you're going, uh uh what's the meaning of life? We are all we're all destined to waste away. There is nothing. And then you look back and see you hear a you look back, one of them had exploded in the vat uh, explodes, and then another uh, they explode and you get out of the room as that happens. <laughs> And then you're back in the staircase area. Up, go. You go. get going. As you go, you hear faintly in the background of your mind's ear a voice saying, Why was I going? And another one, Why was I And you get away out of range. Oh, good. Be right. careful you show that to. Yeah. Some characters are going to be more interested than others. <laughs> <laughs> Orion almost like got this rope done to his bag. <laughs> it's making it easier to see. That's and he's yeah. going to get murdered. Yeah. Nice plane. <laughs> nice plane. Uh, spore creature. I just remembered. Now that we have the four uh, peacocks running mm-hmm. around, I remember that spore creature is out there somewhere. Um, he was in the library, we'll say. Just very. Yeah, he was on top, he was out against the ceiling, just floating. Right. Uh, you checked out that room. This one's technically above that. And then you go up to the next chamber. Chamber number 10. So here, uh, there are some busted kegs, kind of like the rain barrel that you saw. Uh, Cerama class, but smaller. Uh, they've been busted open, there's graffiti above them that just says, Water Hog! Uh, and then above a dais here, there's no stairs going up, but there is a dais which you recognize as a teleport dais. Uh, and there is a cloud of gaseous metal floating above it. Moon gas. <laughs> <laughs> and you you take that in, and we'll cut back to the, the, the trees, growing you know footprints of glass. <laughs> the porcupine is getting closer to the worm, which is totally indifferent to all this. You know, it looks up frightened, but mostly the camel head's just trying to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Stay still. <laughs> <laughs> and, and down, you know, next to the worm, Peptid and Miela are taking care of. Caster and have sort of gently placed together the kraken and putting the sap in it. <laughs> <laughs> so no one's actually helping Grandma, but she's what she's are the got chances it. of actually getting a proper distraction going around this thing? Because if it's developing sand around it, could it get kind of a swirl of sand going around it to slow it down even more, to slow it down? It's turning the sand, the tr- when it bumps into the trees, it turns yeah. the sand into glass. So if I'm dancing, if I'm able to dance around the hedgehog with those trees to kind of goof about, and maybe not even necessarily go in the same direction, could I get them slogged in, kind of? Because I don't know the deal with those. I like 
keeps and you know, like, it yeah, because if it itself. keeps electrocuting, if I can keep the trees in it getting kind of electrocuted, it kind of develops a quick sand around it sort of concept. Does that make sense? Like, as it turns the sand to glass, it somehow goes down? Because the connectivity isn't, like, if I'm able to, like, the idea is that if I can continue to have it going where it's like, it just kind of keeps slogging along, and eventually if, it, if I can get it to the point where it's at a standstill, then it's just a churn. Are you moving that fast, though? I mean, I can move that fast. The trees are very slow, so they're oh, not yeah. <laughs> so, so, they realize the thing. I don't know how fast the hedgehog is. So I'll just like... The, the hedgehog is a concept. So slow. Why are you throwing a concept? <laughs> it's a read to me. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> wow. Well. I'm not, uh... Yeah, it's only 4, 12 for second activity. <laughs> is the board you find me attention to you? Oh, I... I can risk it. It's hostile. It's grumpy. Anyways, it's focused on you or the worm. It's or... trying to get to the tower, we realize. Yeah. That's it's not that interested in the worm. It just wants to get to the tower. Based off of all of the politics I've run into here, it makes perfect sense to me that the thing is trying to get up into this. So, uh, yeah. I am, I am trying to stop this. So if Grandma's firing isn't able to take it down, uh, once the guard is starting into the danger zone, I'll jump in and start actually fighting this thing. Why did they you see, would you, if you had your bay of bombs, yeah. if you could somehow get them in circle, and then you jump under the porcupine so that they can be trapping the porcupine. Possible? Then you can I just don't know how large this porcupine is, so like, these guys are 20 feet tall, and I don't know how many, there's two, three, two, uh, I was envisioning it like the size of six elephants. Six so, of porcupine. Oh, got oh, quite large. Yeah. So I think the yeah. trees are still smaller. Yeah. Okay. That was, that was the awesome. curse is now yeah. a minor stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got you. I'm just trying to slow it down. But yeah, I'll. Uh, I got the crystal spear. So if the again, if it gets into danger zone, I'll start helping Grandma poke him at it as well. But uh, but it sounded like that was gonna that thing was gonna go down. It was just a matter of where. What was the worm? Are we talking about the centipede when we say the worm? Or are we talking about yeah. Okay. Like giant megatron. Okay. Okay. Not not your favorite creature. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> got, got changed up. <laughs> Next time we come back, we'll, yeah, we'll determine if it's fight time. Sounds yeah, good. Speaking of which, uh, Mercury that uh, loyalty. Uh, when you were splashed with the water from the rain barrel. Mm -hmm. It's time to make a save for that. Ooh. Does anything affect that or just successful? Just successful. Yeah. Success. Okay. Where's this rain? Uh, yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to want to say something like uh, water just evaporates off of you. Water that you didn't even know was there just turns into uh, vapor into mm -hmm. your body. And then you're staring at this metal cloud above the uh, teleporter. Hmm. Well, we know this is bad. First of all, metal clouds of any variety are always bad news. The one that emerges from the teleporter is worse than that. <laughs> what is it? Maybe I'm not telling. It's stuck. It's floating on field of broken time. Oh, The teleporter yeah. itself. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. It's clearly yeah. malfunctioning. They're very maintenance intensive. Mm -hmm. And if you let them go, they go haywire. And then everyone knows that you don't know just how they're going to go haywire. That's why when you see a broken teleporter, you first of all, get away from it. Mm -hmm. And second of all, no one ever repairs them. Go into any city, anywhere in these lands. Okay, try to tunnel ways or semiconductor DNA trees, anywhere near a damn teleporter. <laughs> right. You don't know where you'll end up. Exactly. Remember the uh, the citadel that once was in the locust fires? It's a bit down this way. That's what took out like an entire community. Sometimes they just fizzle and go for like a spark. It's like no big deal, nobody cares. But that one, what happened was 
So it's behind a locked door. The Reynos teleporters are dangerous. They lost the key. Well, that whole town was it. Everybody knew that too, and they couldn't get the door open. And before you knew it, that entire teleporter imploded upon itself, taking the system. I know, it's terrible. Whole point being, we need to get out of this room. Stick with stairs. <laughs> as quickly as you possibly can, because this thing is a bad deal. Metal cloud silently hoovering and swirling the cloud. Yeah. Don't touch it. Let's keep moving. It's, it okay. appears to be the only way up, so you hit the top, unless you can teleport up or find another way to get above it. It's about. Maybe made it to this point. See how there's no connector here. I uh, missed the whole part about the stairs. But yeah, you know what? We're, uh. <laughs> now that you've, after you've given that speech, Guess this is the end of it. Do you want to go on that date or not? I do! <laughs> um, Bessie. Dang. Dang. If only we had uh, some sort of arachnid friend. <laughs> I was just thinking, can we get outside? No. No, no, no. I mean, here's what we did. We go back out to the main battle balcony. Mm -hmm. And then we climb the spider. Yeah. Yeah, that looks fair. Yeah. 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 He, he couldn't do the rope thing in gym class, so he's not going to do this. Uh, From here, you can... Because loyalty fill his pockets with this many dollars of little gems on his head. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, 16, 16 credits of pieces. And this, and this, and another 30. Oh, oh that one's big. No. <laughs> you need to chuck one down. <laughs> Beautiful jade coins. You are able to make it to the top. Of course, you see the porcupine approaching. It's titanic, the ground still shaking. Uh, shots fired at it, it roars. What sounds a porcupine make? Well, Imagine that, but a roar. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. You make it up onto this big balcony. But back on Earth, look up a uh, uh, female porcupine noise. Uh, you know, you want. <laughs> Other I don't think blue herons have a really yeah. dinosaurish yeah. Or por porcupine mating call. Yeah, there you go. It sounds like a female human voice I'm wondering. Weird. Go on. Anyway. So that's the sound you hear echoing from there. Yeah, Big balcony, uh, there is. Uh, there are statues uh, on the balcony. I think a good description of this makes. Um, For now, you just see a balcony. Circular balcony. There's uh, no doors to the inside that you can see from this side. Uh, there are, in your view, two silver statues of. Humanoids, but they're like stretched, made of, made of silver, uh, and their like limbs are bisected. And they're like two hands sprouting off, kind of like branching, uh, and their heads clearly like the neck is a threaded screw, so you can screw the heads up. Um, and there is a giant around the corner as you come up, crawling on. Uh, Five sets of human hands as a giant leech, with a leeching mouth. Uh, mm -hmm. It sees, leeches have eyes, sees you. Mm -hmm. And it us. <laughs> and it goes towards you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, it's fine. I'll be chill. Don't have anything to eat a leech. Is it what? Beetle leech? Yeah. 
towards you with curiosity at this point, unless it may, it's going to become hostile, hostile unless you have something to keep it from doing so. It does. Uh, and, okay, I don't. Uh, I'm a little nervous about doing this, so I'm going to put them on them quick. Nice. What is the giant leech afraid of? You, uh, mm -hmm. you uh, see uh, sort of trauma memories. Uh, oh no. It's in a pen, uh, and it's just a you know cat-sized giant leech, whereas now it's the size of uh, huge a horse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, exactly. Oh, Some no. trainers are salting it to train it. Uh. So it's afraid of salt. Uh, make a save. It'll yeah, success to see if you gain a phobia of salt. Oh, right. Note that you have a salt phobia. Okay. Oh, uh, it should take up one of your. Oh boy. That's right. I, it's permanent for you. So when I look through my monocle, uh, that becomes permanent. It lasts yeah. until you spend a week to heal it. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stone man, do you need something? Do you take salt baths? You have. Uh, uh, yeah. You have a jar of uh, <laughs> no sand. That's right. No sand. Yeah. Sand would have been good if it wasn't liquidated. Liquid. Moon sand. Yeah. I don't really and think. Another guy is four feet right That's true. Um, I have the only other thing I need to offer is this stupid zombie bird. Oh, I got it. Yeah. The loyalty is going to stick out his porcelain leg for the leech to taste. Oh. Hoping that it'll realize there's no blood in him. Right. And I'm made out of brick. What do I care? Yeah. <laughs> We're making a mock out of the hell here. <laughs> oh, interesting. If you get, I'll re-roll its uh, reaction with it's seven or better. Your ploy works. Six. So it, you know, on your leg, but then it, its lip goes up onto the flesh, and it immediately, its arm, its legs, all of which are human arms, flex, and the combat is on. Human arms? Yes. Oh. It's wrapped up. Yep. I said five pairs, but let's just go five human arms holding up this big beefy arms holding up this horse size leech. Uh, loyalty's turn. I guess you get a freebie and then another since your leg has. Uh, I mean, should it be a freebie or should it be just pull one of mine out first? Let's do that. It's, it's yeah, more that's... fair to give loyalty the same number of dice in the bag, but just pull one out first for the going first rather than a horse to move. I like that. Great idea. And this time, uh, fate. Favorite that. <laughs> so if it fades, I agree. <laughs> we all know that happens. The nine months. In the distance. I'm trying to make a loud woman mumbling sound. I know. It's echoing. <laughs> <laughs> True order. Uh, Bring it to the left. <laughs> <Yeah. Of course. laughs> this is just a um, balcony with these statues with the heads that screw off. Yep, big circular balcony so you can see about half of it from here. Statues with heads that screw off. There's no way off of the balcony that we can see from here besides that. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so you know it's a lady, 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 lady. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's 
feel some type of way about that being counter <laughs> It's a mating call. <laughs> sharpened mm-hmm. for war. Uh, yes, as uh, you do. <laughs> and t- uh, it sees you and uh, says to you, stuck between the walk and the hog, but it's now on to me. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, behind it, there is a sort of projector looking thing, but it has a head-shaped cavity in it. So it looks like you could put your head in it, and then there's a projector. <laughs> Like shoots under a screen. Oh, yeah. You go full ostrich in None the sand. Pass of the orders of culture, Sarafist, says the thing. Uh, and then it mm-hmm. is Alvin's turn. So I'm still on the balcony. Yes, with the leech. Which is now distracting because it's skewered, right? Yes. yes. I file loyalty in. Yeah. Yeah, maybe for I want to deal with this leech. <laughs> He's got Jay's armor covering him up. He's got a crystal spear. He can right. take it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. It'll be fine. Uh, well, we know her. And she said it was totally fine for us to pass. So I think you should let her. I mean, look, he's got her time more. I, I am a new Um, um Rotating, uh, time score. Right, it's all very. I'm sorry that the uh, that the news line. didn't get up here. It didn't need to barge in. But this is all very recent. I'll give you a plus two on its reaction roll since you've given a title. And it's eight, nine, ten. It says, "Night of the time of the undying time is gone." That does sound like something she would come up with. I have nothing to lose. I'm undying. And it goes and sort of swims over to the side of the room to let me pass in. Oh, that was amazing. Do you bring any news of the outside? And then your turn. <laughs> Shield up. Just. God, it just sounds like we're pointing oh, yeah. out this poor, horny hedgehog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. Spear <laughs> and the hog. <laughs> poor hog. This should stick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got a spear it. All right, Hedgehog's turn. Uh, it goes to trampoline. 
Yep. Let's turn your 41. <laughs> Stop the foam mothers. <laughs> Try to run from being, you know, knocked to the ground and having your legs crushed. It's a, it's oh, a right God. Ah, oh, oh, electrified spines the length of oh, man. man, and it's just a step on you. <laughs> so perfect. Oh, thankfully this is unconventional warfare, and I'm yeah. succeeding at it. Um, Joe, would you roll for a rhino a pass fail? Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, oh, bloody thing! Come back and help! You hear him from the balcony. Uh, and it's his turn. I'll roll fast fail for him. <laughs> and he falls silent. <laughs> you got this, Rhino! <laughs> That's the end of the round. <laughs> he's got that evil thing attached to his body. He dies with an evil thing that does terrible oh, things to me. Oh, cool. Man. Ooh. And that's how they created the G. What so a so so right? mm-hmm. You really are running good on these first draws. Like <laughs> mm. are there, there are two doors in this room. Um, well, I want to keep things secret, right? But you've, uh, you're in this room. You are here. Uh, Bleach is out here. And the Rhino is out there as well. So there are two doors you can see. Three doors. And a door to the outside. A door you know is to the outside. It's the protector. Hmm. Well, we'll just keep his head right in that projector. Yeah, <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Well, adventure! The lens is made from a familiar material. The uh, lens is going to be another one of them green things. I think that that's uh, yeah, that's down in the uh, caravan right now. I want to get this die now before I forget about it. Uh, it plays yeah, not dreams. The analysis machine is. There's the analysis machine, and there's the crystal scales that you look through to see dreams. And now there's a head projector. Right. First person POV is displayed of. Uh, montage of memories that sort of capture who you are. Oh, cool. There's um, an early memory of um, loyalty um, dozing off when I was dropping in a counting class. <laughs> and then an elder had said, actually, when coming over and smacking him with a ruler, and pay attention, loyalty. Now, we were talking about end of quarter summations and what we do about hanging lines on the third column. Could you please inform the class? And we cut to the next scene <laughs> of uh, loyalty, um, like adolescent loyalty being brought along with the um, syndicate root squad on his first shakedown. Um, and one of, one of the is fear, like, come on, loyalty. It's your turn. And loyalty coming up, you know, like, hey, I'm with the neighborhood watch. You haven't paid your bills. And some poor shopkeeper, you're like, really? <laughs> and you all, yeah, the regular patrol will be back next week. You better have paid your bills by then. <laughs> well, I guess you are heck sad. All right. <laughs> and then, uh, Cut to teenage loyalty um, sitting up on a fire escape in the city, oh. looking out um, over the horizon, uh, um, like fussing with a, a rusted sidearm, looking off into the distance, and being like, I wonder what's even out there. It's just like, all I've ever known is. Civic life and math. But there's like a whole world out there. And he turns to the other like, young hex out there with him. You know what I mean? And the other young hex is like, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? This loyalty, this is our life. We extort the local economy. <laughs> and we do good accounting. 
and we balance the forces of life and death. What more do you want? Why would you want anything more? The neighborhood watch is where we come from, boy. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just, there's like a lot of colors on the horizon, you know? And then back into, is this all like projected on the wall? Yep. You can see? Yeah, oh, it's great. <laughs> Very quaint, says the, <laughs> says the swordfish. I've never yeah. seen that one before. <laughs> uh, the, the swordfish goes over to you and, like, the reason it's now is to push your back and say, Now you go. Now you go. <laughs> Does it, uh, uh, I haven't so watched so I haven't so seen anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It stinks like yeah. a rotting box. It yes. gets close to you. Um, so I, I go up. So good for you. Slowly turns into Tim Curry voice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> now I it's go, your time. Uh, I go up, uh, I go into the projector. And I stick my head in. So and fish with dead eyes watching. <laughs> <laughs> no lips. <laughs> It starts with me as, as it starts with me as just above a toddler. I've just started to walk. And I can't really see my parents. I only see their shins. Because I'm so short. I see my mom's shins and I can hear her it's her voice. So I know it's my mom. And I see my dad's pants. And that's all I remember of my mom. It's his dad pants. <laughs> And then the next thing you know, I'm in a market. Great music. <laughs> We're in a market. And it's hooves, and it's tails, and it's more shins, and it's more knees, and it's more pants. And I hear my father muttering, and my mother crying, and the next thing you know, I'm off to the side. Mm-hmm. And I'm with a bunch of other, like, clay upstarts. We're all, like, very soft. Like we're just starting to create, like dry out. Mm-hmm. We're very pliable, you know. Eventually, we're gonna hit to the phase we call green wear. That's about what the humans used to call adolescence. <laughs> but the young historian's life, it's a very tumultuous time. Now, we so. Yeah, sometime in the next year or two, your glaze is going to start to come in. Right. Don't worry, this happens to everyone in your age, and it's right. a little uncomfortable. I'm confused. <laughs> I look up into the sun to see the silhouette of my parents off into the market, and then we all get loaded into the car. Try to keep our distance, because the sticks together, it's all messy, and scars. And then we flash forward, and I see it again. And slowly, my hands have started to harden up. I know the change is coming. And I look down at Caster, who's now my friend. <laughs> He's standing on top of a necromancy textbook that yeah, shows exactly. like a diagram of a top of the corpse. Right. He's long since dropped his can. He outgrew it. He's looking down and I'm thinking to him, I wonder what happened to him. Do you think they ever like think about me? He looks up at me. I know he's saying no. I know. And then Flash forward again. Now the greenware is fully set in. Caster's about the size of the football. And we're now in intermediate and advanced necromancy. I just started learning the polyglot, which I thought would impress the ladies, but it turns out that now. Caster and I are back. We're walking along the beach. Caster's scurrying in and out. I'm looking across the same way. Am I really going to do this? Just sit here? I can't just sit in the Citadel here at the university and expect to get in there. You're going to be a story in this world. you got to go out and have experiences. It's those that write stories that happen today that get known and are famous. Cancer story. And now it flashes forward to graduation day. My glaze is now just starting to set in. Long I've been green for a while. And my arms have got sheen. They're not like the red that I am today, but they're uh, starting to, they have like sort of a sandy feeling. Very nice. Yeah. 
and uh, I go up, I get my diploma, I look out, wondering if my parents are in the crowd, not that they never know, because I don't actually know what they look like. Then I think, I've had it in this place. You know, we're gonna get out there, we're gonna have some experiences. I got my friends, like, we can do this. <laughs> <That's so excited. laughs> so after graduation, I take my diploma to my room. I wrap up the few things I have, which isn't much, not at that time, that I have before. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Starting to sense a theme. <laughs> <laughs> it's origin night. Yes, I think I wasted my turn. <laughs> Hasn't seen anything in who knows how long. Can't tell, but just roast the people offering him any sort of entertainment. Right. Look, it's your machine. It's been like wasted my time. After all that anticipation. Intelligence, <laughs> death, Mary. Fire is four, five, six to hit the five. creature. <laughs> More ammunition! <laughs> she calls down. Oh, you it's help okay, me. Master. I <laughs> need your damage. Uh, the leech appears at the doorway. Oh, <laughs> and it comes in. It's finished. It's smashed. It even No blood in his body. Odds you. All right, the leech goes for you. Uh, you look, it's gonna attack you. Make a dodge roll, four, five, six, to get out of the way. Nice. So it tumbles past you and uh, opens up this big chamber, which I'll describe briefly. Just turn as fast as you can door. Yep. Not there's another projector. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's another dais here. It matches the other one, uh, but it's got. Dust, metal dust, gyrating above it. Gyrating! Your turn? My turn? Yep. Yeah. Um, so its head is in the doorway? Yes. I'm gonna take my mace and I'm gonna charge at it. Excellent. Give you advantage since it's disoriented. Yeah, well, it's also in a doorway facing the other way. Come on. So, um. Right? It's not yeah. all the way around. Totally. Okay. Okay. It's got a space away from you. Yeah. You're trying to. Hurt it. Put some hurt on it. Yeah, well, it's obviously not friendly. And we've got nothing else, so I'm going to try to mace this one of the squishy arms out. All right. Uh, you hurt it. Well, how, much, how many life does it have? Uh, two left, but I'll say you oh. hurt it either way, but if you succeed, you get rid of You knock one of its arms out. Okay. So much. Nice. You have a uh, human leech arm, it just knocks off its shoddy uh, meatsmanship, whoever bio-engineered <laughs> bio this creature. Yeah. And you can see the joint is pretty easy to, and there's a big wound in its side now where right. leech blood is leaking out. Don't and squish it all the way right. down, it's gonna need its life force, it sounds like Orion a lost his. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's gonna wake up with an appetite for blood, maybe. We gotta, we gotta balance the blood books. Right. And it's your turn. Of the new round. Nice. Gentle tap on the leech. Yep. Oh, uh, so you know I'm supposed to do it. All right. You're looking for like half a hit point. Yeah, I'm gonna like knock it down to zero to do it. Um, it turns, it's turned around. It's facing you, so there is a risk of getting hurt here. Yep. All right. Uh, you go to get up with your mace, yeah. it, you know, and then <laughs> under your arm. Oh, great. Oh, no. Excellent. Oh, God. The leech. <laughs> Try to pull free or lose your one life. Oh, oh I'm gonna get tricks here. Probably not. Of course, Lynn will spread soon. Who knows when the leech was gonna take a fall out? Excellent! <laughs> you fall unconscious and it continues to suck the blood for a moment before realizing it has other intruders to take care of. Oh my god. And then it 
it's your turn. I think that's the first zero hit point in a battle. Mm -hmm. Alright, because we Oh, we'll except when you. Yeah, in a battle. Like, yeah, like, yeah. How did you get to the first time? I'm going after it with my. And. Is it disadvantage at all? Because only has four lights. I'll say it moves more slowly, but uh, for this attack, <coughs> this well, attack, no advantage. I've got to worry about him now, so I'm going to kill him. Oh, no. You go to whack it. Uh, or two. I don't know bites you. I'll say, like, it gets your arm on the way, so you do hit it, but it doesn't really do any damage, and it hurts you, sucking a quart of blood. What's that? You made out of bricks. I have made out of bricks. I have oh. no blood to suck. I'm not even sure you can penetrate my skin. Yeah. That's I a good should point. be able to disrupt the card. Alright. It doesn't uh, cost you any life, but it does, in uh, intersecting your arm, stop you from you know, hurting, hurting, hurting it. it. Got it. Uh, and then it is one of Babby's turn. Swordfish. Giant pork pie. What? Of is a giant swordfish. It's one giant pork finds two. It's a three, so it is the leech. Okay. It attacks you. What can it do against you? Not much. That's yeah. a joke. So I'm taking another poke at my face. I do <laughs> have, <laughs> do it have <laughs> crushing <laughs> abilities. Does it yeah, it, it tries to run you into the wall. Oh yeah. Sure, sure, sure. It's sure. so a roll to resist that. Now it turns sideways and like a. <laughs> Right. Yeah, it's it's off balance, so it's easy enough for you to to parry. Yeah. Oh God! If you gotta stop this, I know this porcupine's on the side of as far as I know, my butler. But <laughs> given that my butler is against the, I can't remember what the person's name is. Hesseline. Hesseline. But I gotta I gotta try and help my stony friend, my lonely stone man friend, get that date. You have the shield if that protects me at all in that attack. You can either take or lose a life or lose your shield. I'll lose the shield for now. All right. Uh, Ooh, it's busted. So now you, you can keep it in your inventory if you want a broken shield. Yeah, but it can no longer protect you. It's taking a fall from me before. <laughs> and then it's a greenie's turn. <laughs> Says a diligence oh, down here. Oh, she takes aim. Thank you. <laughs> Fresh it's ammunition uh, makes the uh, difference. It turns toward her, and the worm has moved close now, so they're in combat distance. Okay. Oh, keep the worm rears up <laughs> and goes to smash down on it, you know, from the front, so the quill is not going to impale it, but it's still risky. One, two, three, and it gets electrified. Mm. It harms the hedgehog. The porcupine. The porcupine. <laughs> and it's out. It's poor porcupine. Well, I'm now concerned about loyalty, and so I'm going to take yeah another poke to get this leech out of my way. Yes, so this leech has got to die. Oh, <laughs> it's it just... Locks me again. This is the world. It's just so slimy versus yeah. It's, just, it's trying to slam you around. You're trying to grab <laughs> yeah. it. It's a whole. This is like the D&D where you have to roll the hit. Yeah. Boring! <laughs> <laughs> Boring. <laughs> oh, okay. At least it didn't harm you. You're being I made of brick. I didn't harm you, we're just like getting frustrated. <laughs> Loyalty's dying. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't know he's caused all the problems. I still want to help you. I kind of help your buddy. Well, Ryan knows out there. Oh, come on. Just a little poke. Just a little poke. Nope. All right. It's too conventional. <laughs> all right. It, uh, you go to poke it, you do, but right, it's just not powerful enough to harm it in this instance, so it yeah. again stampedes over you re yeah. reactively. <laughs> and then... It is a baddie's turn. Oh, look, pretty rough. <laughs> One is the leech, two is the giant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Uh, who's it gonna wanna go after? You or the worm? Probably the worm. It's gonna go after the worm. It just walked over me. <laughs> yeah. Berker, would you roll a yes, no? Yes, uh, uh, the porcupine gets harmed. No, the worm. Don't let him go. Nice. <laughs> Our worm is, like, should be doing all of our things. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like, ah, 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 it's fine, it's going everywhere. <laughs> it's just so angry about being interrupted and it's eating half it. That's the end of the turn. Wow, we've got a full turn in there. Again. Um, don't lose any ball. Somewhere in the latter oh, yeah. half of this book, I think in, there was actually, there's that page about death. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. That same table you rolled on when you got the porcelain leg. Right. There we go. It is your turn. Fuck. Death oh, in Texas was <laughs> all. He, he's not dead, but if he takes another hit, he will be, right? He's going to roll on the table that determines whether he's dead or not. Oh, yeah. okay, gotcha. No, could be good, could be bad. Probably. Probably dead. I guess I gotta put some distance between me and this thing. <laughs> I'm not looking, I'm not feeling too good. Uh, so I'm going to try and get out uh, some distance. I don't know if what that's going to look like if I'm able to. Is it like a short distance that I can throw the spear because it is a throwing option? Yeah. Okay. The only question is uh, you're going to lose the spear either way. It doesn't hit. Okay. Lose the spear like gone forever or? Okay. I'm <laughs> just drinking out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry. After it goes through a time portal, it's the, you know, time for Curse Tower. <laughs> I hate this place. It turns into a tree. I hate or... this place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, just gotta. All right, Granny's doing good. We're doing good. Granny, we're doing good. Ah! Hear me. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Excellent. Right. It's got one hit after that. Ooh, all right, so it's that's starting that's to feel hurt. I'm gonna roll for that. morale for it. We have nuts. It's a level five creature. Its morale is seven. So if it can get more than seven, it's staying in the fight. Oh, wow. Seven or more, it stays in the fight. Seven or more is in the fight? Yeah. <laughs> so if it yeah. wants to keep fighting, it's fighting to that does that make sense? Yeah. And it has one left. Yep. Still one left. You when you slice into it, you see it's not like gore, it's like chips and wires and yeah, stuff. So it's really corrupted. You can, like you can see the wire in it that's kind of a jugular. Uh it's turn. Even since you uh it's the worm, it's going for you. So <laughs> Moves towards you and I don't know if I got, I got it's that in its mouth, it, there's a cackling ball of blue energy grows, and then it shoots it at you in a ray of light. Oh. <laughs> uh, Roll the dodge. Okay, here we go. Did I do any magical dodging <laughs> in my whole I did! Very nice. It goes wide. <laughs> it's an old tree. <laughs> Tries to run you up against the wall again, try to dodge. Nice. Of course I did. <laughs> How do you dodge? You limbo under, you jump over, you just step to the side? Or... I take uh, one, because again, this is the saddest fight ever. <laughs> I take one slow, kind of. And it stumbles on its stupid meat legs. How about he took the map to the scrap after the touch out of flu? Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. not having that fight. This uh, entire time I'm looking with the stain of loyalty, wondering how he could have got himself to the sword. It's a real scale biter, <laughs> says yeah. the swordfish. You're turned out wrong. I'm like, I'm a swordfish. You still consider an enemy? Yeah. But. <laughs> Oh my god. This <laughs> 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 boring thing in the world. I take yet another lazy poke at the, uh, the swordfish. Or, no. <laughs> the giant leech. One is the swordfish, two is the leech. Oh, Alright, the swordfish has a turn. It's gonna 
definitely. Uh, greater than seven and it will stand for Thank you. Six. Okay. Yeah. Well, you are intruders, you know. It is its program. <laughs> <laughs> another turn. Who am I? Another construct. <laughs> oh, oh, even since the leech odds, it's the porcupine. Odds, it's the porcupine. Oh. So, it's, uh, it, maybe it thinks it's taking care of you and it's going for the worm. But it's, 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 if it's a uh, one or a two, it's storm. you. <laughs> yeah, it's you. I'm really mad at you. Just scroll. Another lightning ray. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla. When it gets bloodied, it shoots away. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. It's struck with another bolt of lightning. I got green ones in here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go back to the leech. It comes at you again. Of course it takes a life. Oh yeah, no, it doesn't take a life. You dodge again. A box turn. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna take the less dramatic Oracle of the Death Face, um, which has, there are eight choices that you can take them once during this campaign. So I'm taking one for loyalty here, okay. and he's gonna be a little different after this. Okay. Should it be one per character or one period? One period per group. Yeah. And oh, wow. You'll have a, whenever somebody dies, it's a different. Name for Oh, gotcha. Yep. Got it. And then we always have the option of roll the big table with all the really dramatic stuff on the end of it. Yes. Which is how, like, the way it's written is you can choose the kind of interest, you know, the kind of normal stuff in the middle. You can choose each thing once. And or then, if you don't like what's left, you can roll the big die and find some crazy stuff. Sweet. Do you maintain your body if you are dead? If you're dead, your body turns to, it unravels, basically. So right. Yeah. Uh, unravels. Um, yeah. But, I mean, the number here just becomes null and void because your life is done, so your stats don't mean anything. Yeah. But Ba, the what it is of Ba, you know, unravels into the, the chaos. That's the re-roll of the point, right? Yes. Oh, so you're saying, could you use your Ba to re-roll that? That's what I'm saying. Interesting. Huh. We don't have to answer this. Yeah, now. let's think about it. Say it. Sure. I'm just I'm, I'm asking you for yeah. Pray note that you've the letter that you've taken from the group. So no, that's perfect. And then it's you're not oh, okay. are you? Uh, you pulled out the purple, so I'm just gonna go yeah. get okay. You yeah, yeah. I was just I was just gonna like roll, kind of kind of look cute, pull out the crossbow. Ha! <laughs> 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 gonna try and shoot where Grant is shooting. Come on. Yes. Excellent! Shoot. Shoot's good, too. Woo. What does it look like as you take out the giant biomechanical porcupine? Woo. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Just smoking up, because it's like... I think after that, I'm not on my last life point here. It's the, this is like where if anybody was there who could see him, it's the few times where you get to see the actual infected microplastic synthetic <sighs> organism as the flesh has been purred away and it's trying to find its way back in. It's really having to fight against the telekinesis that's really trying to push finish it. Uh, what's it, the uh, intestinal bacteria that's really trying to push it out all the way now? So it's just this weird, uh, uh, okay, uh, just smoking from the electricity. Uh, and Granny did roll a six last time she dealt damage, so it's just shooting right where she shot it. It stops in its tracks, and the quaking of the earth stops, and its head just goes like, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> no longer alive, it's just glitching. Then Butler goes up to you, grabs one arm, and drags you to safety uh, <laughs> next, to, next to your friends. Oh, I'm start tucking with synthetic. I love that you have in this big heroic battle with giant creatures <laughs> and yeah. monsters trees and I can't kill a slug. <laughs> your turn. Yes, yes. We're like, the slug and I are basically <laughs> just <laughs> exchanged <laughs> completely <laughs> meaningless. Come on, die! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta roll your red die, you gotta be a character. Yes. You can't kill the Oh no, it's gone. Oh my god. 
Um, it has so many turns in that bag now. Just, Bleach and I are just like, oh, it's a, it's a death view. I guess the swordfish to make soak up some turns for what, it. Did you see uh, what color it that went was? under the radiator? The, uh, oh, well, yeah. I should subtract one for the leech. Oh, okay. so sweet. Still, so just that one. Woo. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of care. Oh, there it is. The leech attacks. Of course it does. <laughs> Finally, it's, something it happens, but it can't hurt me. It, 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 it does. It takes away one life that like wraps around you and constricts. Gotcha. Yep. Squeezes the yep. light. We'll say that when it's your turn, you can't be hurt, but when it's its turn, it can't hurt you. I know, it's totally it's understand. <laughs> All right. And it's. A greenie's turn. Horny and Corny went. No, they were afraid of the uh, Ramba. Went up with you. Oh, yeah. I exist. She says and runs to. Time. Oh my God. To, uh, She's just probably alluded to Ramba. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. She's wearing the breastplate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Explains the whole thing. He's the Keening spear. <laughs> yep. And kills the leech. <laughs> and then there she is. Goes in. Fear oh, not, my way. friend. Not time. Oh my god. I am a polygot, not a fighter. Damn it. So loyalty kind of like twitches and rolls over. He looks very thin. And um, his whole face is kind of sunken. And one of his eyes has like oozed into a bloody husk blob. Um, and it sure looks like he's never gonna see out of that eye again. Um, loyalty is exhausted, emaciated from loss of blood, and now blind in one eye. Um, over the coming week or so, his senses will compensate and he will develop keen hearing or his being half blind. So with the permanent effect will be um, an eye patch, a blind spot to sneak up on, oh, wow. and keen ears for this is, particular now. Is it? Because you described your side, and I think you described your right leg as the poorest yep. leg, so it's the, the blind side and the fat side. You got kind of like, <laughs> like, 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 like always leads from the right. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> so, <laughs> <it's fine>. Right. <laughs> Great. That's so perception. Only right, right side, so. Can fight anyone from the front. Can be flanked by anyone from behind. The <laughs> <laughs> leech is down. You take some time to just recuperate. Be embarrassed. <laughs> Feel embarrassed. <laughs> While you're celebrating the death of that terrible, of those terrible creatures. Uh, oh, our Some of us. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Here, in your sort of hazy state of dream consciousness, briefly uh, have a memory, a surreal feeling like a dream or memory, of a treasure chest that you think is in this tower and then it fades out of your consciousness. Oh, I'm gonna be good at that. Loyalty is like half conscious, barely, barely moving. Walking dead here at zero life. Um, definitely blind on one side, not seeing great on the other side. Um, let's see, are there any uh, shiny surfaces in this room? Out the door, you can see one of those statues that's really shiny. Yeah, that's really shiny. Okay, we'll look for a flat spot on the statue. And then, with his one good eye, look through the dream crystal into his own eye off the mirror and see if he can find that vision uh, before he like passes out from the door and falls off the tower. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> you look and you see. It's, uh, if you've seen Stranger Things, when they go into the upside down, it's like dark, but then there's just like somebody standing in the middle of the darkness. It's kind of like that. It's like darkness. And you see this unthinkable, unfathomable being. Uh, weird, you know, horror of, uh, 
your imagination. Your imagination, but in a minor key. Mm -hmm. uh, and then once it's it sort of like turns what you think as its front towards you, and once it sees that you see it, it turns into a treasure chest. Oh. And then and then the black around it fills in to uh, resemble this area that you're in. Grab the uh, you tell Rouge there's some hidden treasure in this tower and he can find it and what we pass the <laughs> she catches you and you like fall, throws you over her shoulder. Um I wanna check the time. Yeah, so we got a little more than half an hour. So let's keep rolling. So I'm alone up there then, basically. Like, except I got Rambo. Yeah. And me, this is the sword fish. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, the other one, so which one that is great. And so <laughs> I need to get. Wait, the sword fish is on our side. I'll follow around and see what happens. <laughs> well, my point being, I continue on, or should I take loyalty down to the and the hands of the surgeries, surgeons as well? That's um, a question. That is a good question. Will you ever forgive me for this? I'm going to take him downstairs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave him with the surgeons, and I'm going to go back up and talk to the folks. Take some time, especially getting down that road with him. You yeah. and Rambo work together, and you all the time die. Good thing that work finds out otherwise. But um <laughs> just waiting for that. Um, uh your excellency, there's something upstairs I would love to show you. She rises. Goes to follow you. It's time I explore my tower and my new state of psychological wholeness. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just bring it along the little book. Wonderful. Come on upstairs. <laughs> Nice. And then down these stairs. And then, maybe you, uh, have you seen these bones before? As you lead her into the room, she sort of stops at the stairs that lead down to her bedroom, and she blinks and she blinks. And then she, she holds the, the book close to her chest. And she takes a breath and comes in. Herself on the back. The roll of reaction roll. <laughs> oh. Five. What is it you wish to show me? She's not going to go down the stairs. I'm a terrible liar. And so I'm just going to be level with me. Your, Ma your Grace, Your Majesty, Queenie. All of, all of these are acceptable. Wonderful. <laughs> I think it's high time that you find peace in this world. And there's no way that you can achieve that. Piece unless you go into your bedroom. It's there. Unfortunately, that's what's left. Somehow I always knew. I need time. Very well. He was touching into the furnace and was on her phone. Right. The most touching what? The, 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 most touching, the most touching curse resolution that I was about to come on. I understand that you do need your time. But I want you to understand that I just want you to be a whole and at peace again. Roll with a plus one. Normally, if you got a two, she would attack you, but there's no chance of that happening now. You pissing her off, dude. She stands up and says, Silence, knave. I will not be told what to do in my own tower. Get you gone from this place. Very well, very well. Alright, so now we have to go. She won't let you go up from this floor anymore. I can't I can't go up. I just no. wanna fight her. <laughs> Which I don't, but uh she's good job by looking at her, she's got Three hits. She's also got that magic rod, which mixes things up. Uh, it's true, and I'm not feeling super confident in my fighting abilities. And you're, where are you? I am uh, seeing what I can do with that uh, porcupine body, seeing if I can feed the trees a little bit, since I don't think the 
giant worm can eat it. So. And what else? He's almost dead. And it's, yeah. it's the their teeth. I yeah. assume that the electric being is conductive. I got biomechanics in uh, the lab, I figure. So maybe the tree's roots might be. <laughs> I don't know what they usually, how they go about surviving. Explain to you. So, because they are, what is it, bronze yep. trees? Yeah, so the bronze trees, I don't fully, like, he doesn't fully comprehend that it's a curse, A, because, like, again, <laughs> and he's just trying to take care of his trees. Uh, chances are, yeah, you could watch him go ahead and not. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Eat it. Maybe. <laughs> Zoom out, giant. What about it? Maybe if we work on, like, opening up its mechanical body so that it has its nutrients are available to the trees, the trees would have something to live on. Excellent. Roll He's literally out. trying to grow the thing that's trying to kill him. <laughs> Roll like Even if it requires them to run off, draw them off, and then go back, and then pull out a stool and stop so we can get to work. We're a little bit of time. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got, three hours to do this? That was the roll, that was the time roll. Damn! So in the short term, uh, they're bringing them over and they're not sort of planting into the biomechanical excreta that you, is that right? Guts. Like, yeah, I guess. It's actually like a... I'm going to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> you me. me. Come towards you. Right. Their, their excitement is still evident, although it has waned a little bit with time after that big battle. They're all scuffed up. Their okay, so branches have been bent. Are. Yeah. Mm. They definitely have some kind of consciousness. Yeah, there's something there, and he wants to know what it is. <laughs> The most comforting thing here. <laughs> <laughs> These giant metal trees. Your um, your uh, butler stays close to you as you experiment with them and pulls you away when it looks like you're going to be trampled. <laughs> 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 they're, they're just trying to say something to me. I know it. <laughs> you can um. What were you using before to talk with them? What were your skills? It was, because uh, I have the phytomancy as an expert. <laughs> uh, expert level, that's what it was. So you can make a roll to speak with them as you were with the dancer. The dance yeah, yeah so, you might... <laughs> so you're still alive at a zero. That's well, the... just need to know. Yeah, alive and sure. Yeah. Yeah. If anyone has, you can take Blinded. any healing stuff you have and time, and then get you up to one. Uh, I, we don't have a sack on the camel for trading. Uh, Fudge of Ocean. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Nectar. Uh, uh, Amber. I did roll four. We have four. We have four of them? Four sacks. Four sacks. Four sacks. Maybe it's three sacks of Vodiboche and one of uh, Ambrosia of Vodiboche. Yeah. Okay. Um, Shoot. Trees uh, reaction. A lot of doses. It's a lot of doses. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You so can right. only heal one yeah. life a day a with it. Yeah. Yeah. So in one given day, you can only heal one life point using that. You got to mix it up. One life point, not full healing. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So you've already healed one life point with it, you can't get another from Vodka Vodka, but both of you so good. Okay. Yeah. Um, trees, I'm trying, I'm trying to, to see see what the, what the different, like, do they, it's like doing the whole, like, stretching up to see if they respond to the sun, or are purple hazy, like, sunlight, like a normal, like your standard. Or was there something that I missed in this? <laughs> it was like something that I missed so often. Can I see the big book of UVG? The desired nutrients. Not about trees. We don't know. We're trees. <laughs> I think it's hungry. Even trees. You're gonna be more sociable than you as fungi. <laughs> Come on, just talk to me. Uh, 
Uh, you dance along with them and inquire as to their sort of nutrient source. And from out the roots, which usually like drink in, uh, it squirts out a little bit of oil. Oh! And that's what they Oh, no wonder. Okay, so a corrupted body doesn't have oil. It's screwed. Okay, okay. I just, <laughs> just forgetting the tower, forgetting everything. I just look excitedly to the, <laughs> to the butlers. They, they stop up oil. Wow. They're gonna die. <laughs> well, they won't be threatening us anymore if they die. Threatening, that's what you see what they did? <laughs> the whole dance around the... Which oil? Oh, yeah. I think. Which oil? <laughs> There's a fat one at the tower. There's a fat one? Wait, wait! Put the sleeper down. <laughs> no! Loyalty! John, you've become more handsome! <laughs> you Chad's breath wafts over and he says, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at your face, then. Look back up at the tower. <laughs> back to you. <laughs> oh, God. So, <laughs> I know. I've got... My companion is being stitched together. I'm contemplating a retreat. Because we, uh... We obviously have some healing to do. We're out of people. <laughs> We're out of people. I can't, like, Rambo this goddamn thing now. <laughs> As much as I would like to. Um, <laughs> Fortunately, I have a level split session of health. <laughs> right, so I either have to go kill Loyalty's girlfriend. And, uh. He's tentatively playing in the, the little puddles of glass. Like, <laughs> and battle ain't going so well for us right now. But we do have a lot of coins, so we can uh, equip ourselves quite handsomely once we get back to town and go finish this thing. So, I'm going to suggest to the remaining uh, people who aren't dead, and uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you call out through the windows to get the trees next to the tower, or do you walk past the, <laughs> we don't, we don't. <laughs> what is the Hesseline roots? <laughs> what, what do you do? I have, uh, can I call to the trees? How do I get him back? We'd have to talk to Hathak about that. Yeah, uh, do you boys want, will you bring your, your bronze trees over here so I can get down, or do I have to go talk to the creepy group? Oh, yeah, no, I, I, oh, I'm having this. Super cooperative, thank you. Nice. Uh, Time passes, you like it. Of course. Now, hang on, can we leave, uh, uh, the Prince? Rouge, Rouge Lombardo. Yeah, we leave him here. So we don't have to pay for him on the road. Sure, we just split the loot that you've got so far as we agreed, and uh, uh, Bob's your uncle. Thanks for, and I'll give you, I already gave you the same wines, I'll give you the uh, other cash I owe you. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. One of your way too. You're out of it. You can't decide. You bring up and split the small bar paper. It's going to be a really good split. Well, very intel. Well, minus what was owed. I thought, what do you think? For, uh, what? <laughs> you're about dead too, but you're still conscious enough. Yeah. Do we take the split now? Oh, you want to? Oh, oh. That's... But that only applies to what we're taking now and not what happens when we come back. How far up the tower are they gone? He asks Ramba. She shrugs. There can't be many floors left, she says. She whispers something to It's like. Sure, we'll split half what we have now, anything you get after we get back in here. Well, unfortunately, everybody's dead, so we don't have much choice here. Okay. <laughs> Plus what you owe us. 18, 1800. All right. So Corny, retrieve my funds. Corny goes over to the glove box and then kind of <laughs> <laughs> wallet. Um, so, total then. Who says mages are useless? <laughs> You do, sir, says Mark. <laughs> you do, sir. <laughs> All right, so fair math. We're ending up with uh, 38 k out of the to tower. Uh, dividing in half. That's going to give us, where are we at now? 19. Uh, 
18k per minus the 1800. That very. Well, we gotta turn it into all the different goods that it was. What's that? We don't necessarily sell them for what they're worth. Oh, right. Yeah. I'm sorry. What, what, what? I, I said we. I don't think we can do it as simple cash because we got a wide variety of different treasures. Yeah, we have to pick the treasure. So we just divide it right down the middle. Well, the, we. What are all the well, treasures? So that that's what I mean. I mean yeah. So here's where we go. <laughs> we're gonna split the sacks. So we're two sacks in. Yeah. Uh, which are worth 400. P they're 400 total, 100 bucks a sack. Let's just make that split. Okay. So they're keeping. Two, we've got two. Sacks of, what was that, the berries? The butler of blackberries. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and now we have the Ultra J needles. We didn't talk about how many needles are. They're 25,000 altogether, so no, no, no. I mean, like, mm -hmm. what volume of needles are One there? sack. One sack. Full of these needles. Yep. Full of said needles. So we can go half a sack and then. Uh, the Panite, that was a gem. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was 900. So we will keep that plus 900 worth of the Ultra J needles. Um, Give over to that. Right. Which okay. gives us a total. So 25, so that's 1250 uh, plus 900 plus another uh, 900 worth of needles, right? So 1950. Yeah. Okay. Doc's just going 19, <laughs> then, Okay, so that's what we're walking with. You have three tanks of liquid catharsis, the, the oh, black yeah. catharsis mm -hmm. stuff. Those are each worth 300. So that's another. You could trade needles to get that even again. I don't know Unless if you, you guys liked that. Oh, no, we need catharsis. it for the dream rate, right? Yeah, yeah. you don't bargain that to keep it for the. So yeah, 900, it's worth 900. Yep. And it doesn't do them any good because we're going to take the green ring. Yep. So we'll give uh, 900 back, I guess. Or the pay night. Shard or. So we just get the pay night shard and make it easier. I mean, yeah, it doesn't do anything yeah. to that specifically. Yeah. You know, I think we I fucked this map up. <laughs> okay, because this should have been 20. Yeah, we kept the, the Otis 1800, right? Yep, yep. yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, um, I messed this up. I messed it up. Okay. Yeah, take it one step at a time. 2150, and then we give up the Panai for keeping the Catharsis Chips. Ramba, as you are doing the account, she looks at the unconscious loyalty and uh, sort of winces and sighs and produces the evil gem. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is also worth 1800 mm -hmm. We should split its worth. Well, this is me and the magician seeing the thing, the evil thing, for the first time. <laughs> How do, well, what are we getting from it? <laughs> what is our vibe? He hovers close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Says we should trade for this. He puts his hand upon it. This, this is Vile's heart. What? Next to you. You know that the vials are an ancient. Let's actually look at the glossary. It's a cool <laughs> little entry about them. Uh, it's the heart of one of these ancient <laughs> creatures called B I L E. <laughs> Having just Claire just. <laughs> just live <laughs> over gates. Vials. <laughs> right. What? What's happening? Also, chosen ones. Mythical, long, long ago sentences. The powers attributed to vials are vast and often ridiculous, including complete personality permanence or immortality, reshaping the physical world at whim, shape shifting, soul transfer, and the ability to rebuild their bodies and souls from the stuff of other living creatures. Some long ago civilizations attribute godlike or divine powers to the vials. The Pleorite Guild of Decadence even worshipped them as the urgent demiurges. Fortunately, they all collapsed in intersening struggles. There was also a little bit you heard last time in the um, Chamber of Whispers, people gossiping, and they suggested that the Vials and another old uh, race didn't actually exist. They're actually just misremembered machine humans. So 
he'll do some lore for you, but he's hungrily looking at this gem heart and saying, a vile heart. Does just our historian know that? Out of, Everyone out knows of that. Two of us. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. That's, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're also called, uh, you know, the, the pronunciation has shifted over time, so elves is another pronunciation. Mm, interesting. So, how much was it worth? 1,800. Exactly what uh, the prince owes you. No, if that I means know, it so, uh, it, less cash, less hard cash to go with. All right, fine, fine, fine. We'll keep this stupid evil snow. <laughs> and we'll keep our cash. We'll keep Sauron's <laughs> or Sauron, whichever ones. <laughs> um, they're not all accounted for. Why should? <laughs> Uh, from one of the balconies above. They must be with an art butler. The loyalty wakes up <laughs> in place of an account, you would have an evil CEO! <laughs> Magnificent! <laughs> Loss would bend to my will. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep it. I'll call it. What am I calling this? Vile Heart. Yeah, Vile Heart. <laughs> vile Heart. Uh, the butler, of course, looks meaningfully to uh, 1, uh, Loyalty's grandmother of course. holding the heart. <laughs> and she grins widely. Oh, no. <laughs> We're just, we're just building a big band. We're just building. We're just a, we're just a group of suckers. So good. All right, uh, load up. I really want to All help right. you date that Hesley lady, but I, I, I know too. But everybody's conflict. dead. Yeah, I have, I have direct characters. Just really getting in the way, this, including my best friends. Oh, oh. Esther. <laughs> So I make the uh, regrettable, but uh, would have been super profitable decision if it wasn't for the stupid pretty bear. Uh, to retreat, we're heading back to the steps where you know I'm a legend, and that's going to buy us some healing time. Yes. We're kind of like on the steps right now. So I mean, going, going like back to the nearest village. That's yeah. what I'm trying to do. Oh, we're not going back. Oh, the Violet City was shut off, or just... It's three days' journey. So you have tallied three days of extra days. Remember how that works? Right. You're going right. to tally another three to get back to the steps, which is six, right. which is almost a whole second week. Yeah. But you can do it. Oh, yeah, gotcha. We've got okay. loads of supplies. Right? We've got tons of supplies. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have much choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just got to... No, I'll use whatever I'm saying. Go ahead, yeah. up and hide out. I'll use yeah, whatever and bar and I have left know. to make sure that we get re-rolls of yes. the wazoo. We need, uh... And I'm just shaking everybody's hand, just the sloppy handshake. It was a pleasure riding along with you. I hope to never come back here. Corny and corny and corny not hard at this last <laughs> Um, that's, uh... Corny and Corny and do a reaction all for them, uh, eight or more, and they want to Feel free to here. come to the Azure City and tell you. <laughs> they, uh, as you're shaking their hand, they say, take us with you. <laughs> uh, oh, we didn't name our, uh, our sigil. That's what I was trying to get to. What's our gladiator sigil's name? I have a name that says. <laughs> I'll tie him, uh, I'll, I'll hang him from my Ooh. crystal spear for now. Uh, since, uh, it's like a banner. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So he's floating in the wind. I can tell you my name. Or you can make it. You can force the name on him. I don't to force the name on him. I want to know what his name is. It's totally right. My name is Beep. He's going to do a Beatrice kiddo, and we'll fill it in next time. Because I actually said last time, I don't remember, yeah. so I'll remind yeah. myself. Um, just to check the time left, the harsh, dry, forbidding lands of the, of the Lime Nomads you travel for three days. Uh, you see some Gnomish birds walking around. Would it be possible to convince Rouge to oh. pump his mages out? and Corny have proven that they do know some level of magic. <laughs> do you want to take Horny and Corny? That's 200 miles to feed? Yeah, this is two more mouths of fusions. There lies the question. I could use some company. Everybody 
house and face the dead. They are daggers. Rouge, have you? 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 That's true. Oh, Fine, we'll bring it wet. We'll bring it wet. We'll bring it wet. Well, well, how much are you gonna uh, 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 pay for that? We'll feed you. Oh, we're talking to Rouge. Yeah. Yeah. Have you thought about taking up botany? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Roll a roll a, uh, a pass fail. Pull out my yeah, pull out the naturalist portable laboratory and trade that for. Let's see if it's a little bit. <laughs> botany. Like plants. Wow. That's even better than architecture. Bot huh? Listen to that, Rambo. I could be a botanier. A botanier. A botanier. She rolls her eyes and the smiles in spite of herself. <laughs> there's a name for each contemporary. <laughs> there's a name for each style. I'm currently working on got my hands full of this project. I just kind of gesture to the tree just walking about. <laughs> you, you have to keep pacing. Yeah, yeah I just keep <laughs> Just like shut up things, keep walking. Deciduous. Pine trees. I can brush up on that. Yeah. yeah. And with architecture, you could make who knows? I mean, this it's but a tower to how far does it survey? Did, from the sites of the tops? He looks at the balcony's that. gotta be there for something, right? He looks at the tower, he's like, eh. Maybe we'll take the botany thing and bring it back to the to the, the rainbow land. <laughs> he's kind of just done, he's done with his architecture and ready for botany. <laughs> yeah, I'll treat him for a botany thing. <laughs> botany. Okay. So we have our mages horny and corny. Rouge is staying behind, right? Uh, I, yeah. could probably, I could probably yeah. become uh, undisowned with all of these, uh, of these ultra genie needles. But we've got, uh, we really need to know the gladiators. I mean, I was put in gladiator town for now. Which one? Who? Gladiator in the tapestry. Oh, I know that's in that the video we have from last time, so we can check. Yeah, shoot, I didn't write that down. Our sigil's name. Um, I think I wrote it down. You rest in the shelter of some lonely oh, trees, clinging to life in shallow hollows uh, along the way, and uh, after three days' journey, which you don't have to tally for, you're stretching your rations. All of you make it to a lime moonlight camp. And you are recognized thanks to your gear as a savior. And they kind of crowd around you and ask you stories of how you brokered the peace with uh, the, they were calling them the Ambrosia clans now. The Ambrosia clan, wonderful. I will tell you all about it, but first we need some help. <laughs> and the camera. Right, uh, it sort of zooms out and you see them crowding around your wounded and unconscious and they pick up the crab and produce some healing uh, healing herbs that they grind in a mortar and pestle and put it along his back and the eyes blink like Gaster. Oh, Gaster. Is, is there an armor in the camp? It just, it just keeps oozing blood. I think we should sew it up. Uh. So it grabs out a wooden spoon <laughs> and it goes in. And what's your final moment? Uh, oh, I'm deep in watching the barber with the wooden spoon. That's I'm a king The girl. yellow aqueous humor <laughs> jets out at you. <laughs> <laughs> the animal kills break through the skin yes. and incorporate it. And thus concludes session four of Ultraviolet Grassland. Oh my god, we got our asses kicked. We can't do battle like free handed going forward again. Oh. Definitely not split up. Oh, like that. that was epic. <laughs> and I apparently can't be. <laughs> you don't fight Clydesdale sized leeches on your own. That was definitely mm. the first time I was effective at all in combat. So, you know, it just becomes. Well, you had your super epic fight, mine was just <laughs> lame. <laughs> we both like just went up and sucked all over the place. So you go downstairs and like I got yourself. one just pacing in a circle with a like leech. the slowest dumbest way I'm like eh. <laughs> yeah. eh. just so annoying <laughs> short foot. Uh, that's alright. That's, that's all right. That's alright. That's all right. We got out of there and we actually had a fair amount of uh, We got a lot now, yeah. We do, but well, we had some cash on hand. 
So we had twenty two hundred sixty six in cash. Okay. And then we walked out of there with a total. Where were we? Fifteen thousand. Yeah, right. Uh, not quite that. Numbers reminds me experience points. Yes. That was a sentence. Uh, you each gain experience numbers are points. <laughs> Four hundred experience points. It was thirteen. Uh, we had thirteen thousand six hundred, not counting the uh, dream ring. And let's it's not Ooh, nice. let's not underestimate the value of the sigil. Uh, Four hundred experience points. Yeah. Yep. 